Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? With our beautiful flow of erudite coming in now. Should be able to afford the Holmium accumulators and hopefully uh, the file drivers. Because we're going to need them uh, to clear out rows again, unfortunately. I don't know when it happened. I'm not entirely sure how it happened. Uh, it's possible that we screwed up resupplying this delivery cannon chest. In fact, I have a hunch I, I might be able to infer... No, we were definitely resupplying rows. So I'm not sure... Not sure what happened here. But I can only guess that eventually a very, very unlikely media with biters got through. And eventually triggered... Uh, Eventually triggered an attack. The spiders were left here alive. That's probably where the spiders died. And now we have to clear everything again. Uh, we do have spiders with lasers. And the, the nests that we're going to be up against will be relatively small, luckily. But there's probably so many of them by now that it really is going to be a task clearing them out. Looks like the spiders aren't having trouble getting across that bit of ground, at least. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We've already got a whole lot of nests right here. Let's have them do the safety zigzag. In order to dodge most of the spit. That is pretty effective. I actually thought the front one would take more damage than that. So I think as long as we're careful... Um, we can autopilot them straight through more than a few biter nests, at least. And I'll have to actually go over there myself in order to fix a few things. I don't think... Well, I thought we left a construction spider here, but maybe I misremembered. Maybe it got destroyed. Uh, in any case, we're going to have to go back there. I suppose I could check the kills. If there's... 11 spidertrons were killed 8 hours ago. That's a lot. I think that was our gang of construction spiders. Because I can't think where else that might have happened. That's really unfortunate. And this was before I started including a so-called medic in the military spider groups that could repair and, for that matter, uh, rebuild things. But I don't think we even have a landing pad here. Oh, we do. Fantastic. We can at least get our stuff delivered there. Without losing too much of it. Okay, let's have you... Clear out this nest. And go back to your safety base. 
until I can give you more attention. Uh, erudite do be flowing on the plus side. How much erudite have we made lately? I don't think, I think it might be too, uh, too soon for ingots. I-N-G-O-T. Uh, iridium ingot. It's looking like it has for the past eight hours. Overclock, Q's Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello. Uh, I should go and resupply. And I want to try to guess what else I would like in this rail block uh, ahead of time so we don't have to wait for it to be resupplied. Hope you're doing well too. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe we've already... I should put a power pole here so I can read what's coming from uh, Varus. Or I could just do this. Let's see, what have we got? Nothing at the moment. So it's all completely up to date with its uh, with its supplies for now. And halfway. Okay, we're definitely bottlenecking on liquid rocket fuel for our iridite throughput here. Um, in that case, I'm thinking we just go core fragments until we improve that. And we'll need to get... Apparently we're not keeping up with crude oil to begin with. Uh, I need to make a, a module inserter setting here. Or pump jacks. Two speed modules. We need our construction spider, craftily hidden amongst the chests. And I'm thinking it's cutting it a bit close power-wise, but I think another a wide area beacon here would maybe be wise. 90 kilowatt, 234 kilowatt. Um, okay, so what's our rate for crude oil here? Uh, net positive 73 now. Which means it was definitely negative earlier. Okay, that alone should probably help a little bit, uh, but not that much. As far as expanding our liquid rocket fuel production goes. I'm hoping we've got most of this already. We might have to send some more. We've actually got it all, except maybe a beacon. Uh, beacon. We've definitely got the beacons. I might might be a bot on its way there already. It looks like it's slightly out of range. I'll just put another robo-pot over here for now. Uh, we also might need a few more pipes. We've got some iron plates, so that's going to be pretty trivial. I just need a spot to put it. Mm, let's see. Pipe and pipe. And 
Actually, I just realized that's not going to have a place for the regular pipes. Let's just limit this to one chest. That should be fine. And speed this one up, please. Is it going to bottleneck on inserters? Not even close. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we'll see how... how that does. Actually, I'll do a rate calc here. Uh, that is net negative crude oil. So really, we should be tapping some of this. Assuming we have some... Uh, some pump jacks handy. How many would this be? 13 plus... 7. Do we have 20 pump jacks? Judging by the number the spider is carrying, I think we have 0. Yeah. It's usually just the pump jacks that I'm carrying that I take with me. Um, in that case... Uh, can we get a wide area beacon? I don't know why you're not requesting one already. Uh, it's in here somewhere. realized that I had my microphone muted. Whoops. Okay. So you've got your beacons now. Fantastic. Uh, let's beacon this up. We can almost... We can touch all but two, it looks like depending on where we put this beacon. That's pretty good. What mod adds the logistic settings on the Spidertron? Uh, the mod is called Auto Trash, which I think it used to be necessary if you wanted to automatically remove stuff from your uh, from your player character, but it adds a lot more features. Okay, I wasn't thinking about putting just speed in here, but that might be good too. Uh, just like mines, the pump jacks have zero minimum power consumption. Uh, wow, so now we are very, very positive on crude oil. All right. Doesn't seem to be giving us any power problems, though. Um, so that should probably... Well, I mean, that's... Uh, that's a third more... That's more than a third more uh, liquid rocket fuel production. So hopefully that'll be able to keep up with the core fragment mining at least. Thank you, no worries. And if it isn't... Well, even if it is, we should probably send some pump jacks over there. And... 
what else should we send there? I don't want to trigger a request that's going to just send 20 objects. Um, I think we have enough. Oh, uh, solar stuff. That seems like a good idea. So let's say... Um, what should I send? What do we got requested in the mall here? We go for the usual ratio for energy production to storage. 500 to 200... F no, I think this was like 500 to 600. I bumped that down because we couldn't satisfy it all. But we probably don't have a whole lot of holmium accumulators in the network just yet. Uh, 1.5k is good, but it's nowhere near enough to trigger a delivery. Unless I do it manually, which is going to be a couple of wasted um, rocket launches, kind of. But then again, uh, the resources that go into launching rockets, uh, we've got plenty of these things. I think I will drop the request stack threshold on these. Make it like 10. Train coming in here right now. Fantastic. Okay, so where are we? Not enough core fragments to trigger a delivery right now. Um, we're still processing the last of those core fragments. How much have we got left? Zero. Okay, cool. And how much erudite does that translate into? Not a bad amount, actually. And then... There's already a delivery to... It's actually just water. Oh, we are smelting ingots. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So ingots were at 877. I think that's more than one train load. Uh, 19k. It stacks to 40, doesn't it? Yeah, so there should be a train delivering this already. But I think LTN's just being a little bit slow. Okay. Remains to be seen if... Oh, let me put these core fragments back where they're supposed to go. Remains to be seen if the erudite flow that we've got now is going to catch up or not keep up. Uh, what have I got in terms of accumulators here? Only regular ones. Okay, I think we won't bother with that for now. Uh, so we need to add pump jacks to our requests over here. I'm definitely going to need more combinators, especially to keep this neat and tidy. So let's head over there. Uh, so we've got the space belt stuff. Uh, I should leave the... Oh, we're already requesting those kinds of accumulators over here. And we've got zero. That's not great. Uh, so... 2,000 of each of those. Uh, a 
I'll leave the bots and space capsules over here. Nuclear stuff should all go in its own combinator. Uh, let's see, reactor. Steam turbine. Heat pipe. Heat exchanger. What else? Uh, offshore pumps. Make it 40. And landfill. That's sort of associated with nuclear because. We're always, uh, we're always needing landfill to make the offshore nuclear plants. Uh, uranium fuel cells, sure. And keep the ammo here, I think. Actually, I'll put it with the solar and stuff. Part of your standard outpost. Uh, let's see, 20 of these. And some ammo. Okay, that's looking a bit tidier. And more importantly as well, we've got lots of room to add more requests. Uh, so, I think I will add a few more of these so that there's more than enough. Over here we're gonna have mining drills, pump jacks, coal mining drills, although I feel like coal mining drills should go there, but on the other hand, extraction. Uh, productivity modules, speed modules. Let's do these in order where they appear. Speed, prod, efficiency, um, beacons, both can be useful depending on the use case. Uh, we're going to need a whole lot of pipe, I think I will include that in the nuclear stuff since that's needed anyway. And regular pipe. Quite as much. Um, set this to like 500, 100. Twenty. About 500 of each of these. Basic beacons, wide area beacons, and what else? We've got but oh, uh, normal belts, definitely, and inserters and stuff. So let's say a thousand. Hundred, uh, two hundred, 
inserters. Let's see. I don't think we really need burners. We can always handcraft them if we really do need them. Let's double this. Bust inserters. They're a bit more common. Filters, not so much. Step filters, quite common as well. And then... Chests. Should we put chests here as well? Yeah, we can fit them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy paste that. We can do this slightly faster. Okay. So we got chests, belts, inserters, pipes, um, storage tanks. How many storage tanks go into one of these? 96? That's about twice what I was expecting. Okay, let's make this 200. No, that's only four stacks. And, and we're just setting requests for what comes into this block. Let's make it 500. Why not? Um, pumps. Uh, power poles. Might be a good idea. I don't know that we will need any medium power poles, big electrics, or substations at this point. But just in case, maybe I should start making these add-on power poles as well. Perhaps. Definitely some pylons, though. Um, and then... Rail? Well, sometimes we might want rail, so let's just go for it. And signals. Those. Five hundred of those. Some trains. What do these stack to? Five? Five. Okay. Um, let's say twenty. times four, and uh, not quite so many fluid wagons. Robo ports? Definitely. I think we'll keep that with the bot stuff. Hey, Tyler. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, seven months. Wow, thank you. Just wanted to say you're really cool and drop by. Thank you very much. Appreciate it that very much. Thank you. Um, so where are we? Combinators, I think? Where should I shove those in? Probably here, because... One, two, three, four, five, six... Um, as good a spot to fit them in as anywhere. Any time, my friend? Thank you. 
means a lot. Uh, I'm getting kind of carried away, which is probably a good thing. Setting all of this stuff up in advance. Oh, and... We could do some lights, I guess. Okay. Um, that's probably about enough for now. The stuff that I wanted to send... Um, is just some pump jacks. But since we're sending a rocket, what... What can I fill it up with while we're at it? I don't think I could play Factorio. It'd be the messiest thing to exist ever. We've all made plenty of spaghetti. It is... Well, unless you make things gratuitously spacious, and I do mean gratuitously spacious, if you don't know the production chains ahead of time, if you're not familiar with them, uh, you are probably going to run out of space. Speaking of fuel that I was mousing over there, it's actually almost keeping up with the core fragments, it looks like. So that's pretty good. We'll need to add more... Oh, right, refineries. Yes, that's, that's definitely something to add here. Um, put it with the pipe stuff. Uh, let's see, oil refinery, chemical plant, and uh, fuel refinery. Uh, make it like three stacks. Copy, copy. Um, anything else? that I was realizing I would need. Let's have a look back at uh, Varus. Uh, I already sent belts, although they're all blue belts, which is fine. I think we've got just about everything that we're gonna need set up to come over here. Uh, I think we've already got the mines, productivity modules and stuff. Oh, we didn't power this yet. Uh, let's fix that, although it might be a bit premature for the moment. Get our spider down here. And... Should already be carrying some uh, some more mines, productivity modules, etc. So we could probably make another one. Uh, yes, yes it does. Fantastic. What have we got coming to this station right now? Lots of landfill. And it's taking its sweet, sweet time. Um... being loaded. Since it, oh, it's not just because it's just the one stack inserter. The bots aren't keeping up. Okay. Where is this coming from? Oh, right. We had a ludicrous amount of uranium stored here a while ago and no destination for it. And I made that uh, storage area because we are having trouble getting our coverex system, which was jammed up with too much uranium-238 uh, flowing again. Seems we're actually 
running out of raw uranium for now, but there's a lot of catching up to do with production here. So that's probably why. Um... Alright, so let's see. We'll go... We'll overdo it because we're sending a rocket anyway. There's not a whole lot of stuff that we need to send there this time. Um... 100 pump jacks. It's, is this not switched on? Oh, it's supposed to be a positive over here. There we go. Uh, say 100 pump jacks, 100 fuel refineries, uh, like 50 oil refineries, chemical plants. Um, pipe. I'll make that like a thousand. I think we've already got enough belt and inserters and stuff over there, probably. Actually, we've only got like 309 and 106 undergrounds, so let's send some of that over there too. I'd much rather send too much rather than not enough. And I think we're fine for inserters. Yeah, considering the size of the outpost. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We don't actually have enough to build another nuclear plant, which I do want to do. We're also maybe out of productivity modules. Not even close. The spider just isn't requesting a whole lot in one go. Uh, oh, the mines are moving. I gotta get the rest of those prods in there, otherwise we'll be wasting a little bit. Um, I'll get the spider to go back and forth a little bit. It'll give the bots time to deliver those productivity modules and send it back here. Then I can look away. Speaking of look away, um, I don't think we've checked on Rose for a minute. Uh, let's get our spiders whoops, to keep doing their thing. I gotta be careful they don't walk into a base without any evasive maneuvers. Use the navsat to scout this area out. Okay, I'm hoping... It's looking like my initial assessment of how many biters we've got on this planet now was maybe a little bit pessimistic. There's still quite a lot, to be clear. But in certain directions, I'm not finding any of them just yet. So it's not like they're covering the entire planet. Um, especially with the artillery support, it shouldn't be that difficult um, to clear them out again. I also need to head over there and make some defensive walls and stuff, so we've got kind of a plan B. Um... In case the biters do land on this planet again. Okay. I'll get him to clear that out. And... 
pop on this safety island after that. Assuming they can reach, which they should be able to quite easily. Just double check they're not walking into something over here. Oh, they kind of are, but that should be safe enough. How is the main planet looking biter-wise? Uh, we're down to this section, which is not small, but compared to the entire planet, it's small. Uh, so speaking of which... Oh, I'm actually on this planet, so I can just use that remote. Uh, so let's get them back into the fray. Thank you for reminding me. Since the longer I leave it, the more it's going to cost in total uh, to clear all of this out as they reproduce. We can be a bit more cavalier with the pathing of these spiders because they've got thousands upon thousands of rockets. 800 each to be precise, and I think there's about 40 of them. As long as we make them zigzag to avoid the uh, the spit for the most part and make them take their time so that their shields will regenerate, uh, they should be pretty safe. That said, uh, I will set them to just path through some of the weaker biter, uh, biter nests on the way home. Uh, there's sh there sure are a lot of them over here. All of these sparse ones are because the interplanetary pile drivers have been thinning out their numbers. That's not a weak nest. Okay, that's probably about enough for one trip. Let's send them back home. I just keep finding more targets on the way back. Alright, back to the mall with you. Fantastic. I think I saw some red dots in the south that you missed. Probably. Oh, way down here. Yeah, we'll have to come back for that. I don't suppose the pile drivers are in motion again yet. It's going to take a minute for the iridite to catch up again. Yeah, there's no girders here. Um... This one's targeting rows. I'll have this one automatic targeting on... Oh, this one was still working? Okay, I'll just leave that as it is. Thought I deactivated a bunch of... Oh! And our second rocket that we sent back here from... Uh... uh from Varus crashed significantly far away from the landing pad. Uh, and the trouble with having this in a shared uh, robo network up here is a lot of the bots are taking the erudite core fragments. What are they doing? Oh, I see. Uh, this is not where I intended for them to store it. I don't know if they'll take it all back here. If they'll bring it from one storage chest to the, to the other. I don't think so. Um, if you click on the logistics system, the 
graphic for the research. Uh, those arrows are actually a very good indication of what the different chests do. And unfortunately, you never have bots sending resources from like one yellow chest to another yellow chest. I don't think. That said, we do have a system in place uh, that if there's enough of any given resource here, it is made available to the uh, train network. But I think in this case, um, we'll add a request a chest to send it all back. As soon as one of the construction bots brings it. Why was the insert I brought so much quicker? Okay. I guess that'll have to wait a minute. Now, what have we got here? Loading a bunch of different stuff. Fantastic. Uh, I need to continue the list of stuff that we want to send back to Varys. Um, actually, let's check on our spiders first. They are totally fine. Fantastic. Back at Varys. Uh, if we are going to use rail, which I don't think we will, at least not for quite a while, um, I think we're going to need more of it than like a thousand. May as well send it now. Or at least get started on it. Um, but ma mainly we need more blue belt to arrive here. Uh, it's bringing 1,000 right now, actually. Fantastic. Okay, we'll give that a few minutes. Um, I should finally get around to building this coal mine. Since we've been bottlenecking on coal pretty severely... Uh, in the space base. Can I fit this? Oh, we need to... What was that doing there? Okay, I'm hoping to cover all of this with two of these. This one will obviously be fine. That is... all covered. Fan... Fantastic. And over here, we'll just put that there. Edit this a bit. I'm out for the night. Good luck. Alright, thanks for dropping by, Tyler, and thanks for the sub again. Take care. Have a good night. Uh, okay, so we need some train stops. Uh, this is now my go-to very lazy and very effective way to balance all of these resources and have high throughput is just have lots of train stops. Doesn't get much easier than that.
Um, put this over here. Considering the shape and size of the mine, I think just one belt for each of these pairs will be enough. Let's reach. And... Whoops. Oh, that's fine. I'll just get the spiders to pick up this coal and stuff on the belt. And then... Undo. Need some... Substation down this way. And we also need some... Power management. Because uh, on planet, wide area beacons are kind of expensive, power-wise. So let's disconnect these. Connect this to here. Add a power switch. Uh, we're also going to need some kind of accumulator. I hope the spiders are carrying one. I don't think they are. I could just fly over there. What about a regular accumulator? Nope. Okay. We've actually still finished all of our research for the tech that we have, except that uh, we've got Bioscience 2 in space, in theory, but in practice we haven't got the throughput to support it. What is going on here? What? Oh, that's the wrong remote now. There we go. That's fine. All right. So where did that accumulator go? Don't tell me it's in my trash slots and the bots took it already. That was really quick, actually. Uh, that should mean there's an accumulator in this network somewhere. So there should already be a bot on the way to deliver this. But... Oh, there it is. Sneaky. Alright, we need three uh, decider combinators, and we're going to connect the accumulators input to these two. These two go to this one, which is connected to its own input. That makes it a memory cell. This one, finally, is going to say green has to be greater than zero. Our memory cell will say green signal greater than red signal. If that condition is met, output green signal. So that'll keep green signal going um, if nothing else touches it. Uh, here we're going to say if A greater than 99%, output one green. And output red if it drops below 95%. And that way we'll have the switch power on. Uh, once, it's, once the accumulator is full, this will power on. It won't power off until it drops down to... Uh... until it drops down to 95%. We need this part not to be connected. You can see it on the map, although it's a little bit close together. Fantastic. Tiroir de piece. 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I'm gonna just turn that like so. And same fix over here. I don't think these ones need to be stack inserters. Although the ones dropping the full load into the train certainly should be. And then we just need to connect to this rail here. Add some signals. I think there's rail in this robo network and the bots are already on their way, but I'll just do this to speed things up a bit. Chain signal goes into the part which you would call an intersection, uh, and regular signal in the direction where the train is allowed to stop. And then copy that across. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Forgot to change the middle station to fast inserters from stack. This is true, thank you. Save a little bit of power there. Okay. So, that's our latest call mode. And it's going to give us... 330 per second. Not bad. Some of those belts are definitely a bit overkill, but it's more trouble to change them than it is to keep them. Oh. That'll help. We should probably find another coal mine. Um, that one's a bit awkwardly shaped. Not the highest throughput. There's also a little bit of water in the way. I would love to find one that's a bit more convenient. Uh, we can get rid of this little map marker. I put those there because it can be really hard to see iron uh, on the map. Oh. Wait, what? Did we never build this one? I thought it got destroyed for a second there, but there's no, uh, there's no, like, purple bars showing how long until, until that ghost disappears. Um, okay, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, I'm a little bit, bit more concerned about coal just this second. Here is a nice big patch. Okay, let's get our construction spiders back to the mall. And we'll get that coal mine built relatively soon. In the meantime, I don't suppose we've got any girders over here yet. Not even close. I think I probably bumped up the priority. Oh, this is full. Okay, that's a very good sign, actually. Um, yeah, I think I bumped up the priority for girders to come to space. No, I did not. Okay. I was probably just thinking of... It's 35,000 here. Yeah, I think we're done putting girders into this rocket. And the fact that it's not auto-launching right now tells me that girders in orbit have caught up. That is very, very good news. Um, and it does imply... We're probably going... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be lazy and get my speedy spider to pick me up here. Uh, it does imply... 
that Iridium seems to be flowing at a decent pace overall. Compared to how much we need right now, anyway. Um, how many girders do we have here? 7.1k, that's almost enough to trigger a delivery. But not quite. And only 5.7k plate. Okay. So it shouldn't be too long then uh, that we see girders delivered to the pile drivers. Let's get our spiders back in action over here. We can't waste too much time because of Vita expansion. Um, we need to keep this going as much as we can. The sooner we clear them out, the less we'll have to do overall. Just check there's nothing between here and there. Good. And... Back down this way, I suppose. Back towards spawn, or the middle of the map anyway. That might be a bit dangerous. Okay. And over this way as well. This is a lot of moves uh, that we're queuing up here though. If they get a little bit stuck on water or something. It's going to be a bit of wasted effort. I'll get them to clear these two out and park themselves uh, back on this island. In theory, they should be able to handle that without taking any real damage. And we'll try to remember to check on them sooner rather than later. Let's head over to our next coal mine. Get our construction spiders to do the same. And check on our loading of this rocket. We've still got a bunch of underground pipe to go. Bits of rail, some pump jacks, chemical plants, etc. And that should already be done after that. I will have to launch it manually, which is fine. Um... That's really weird. Oh, I guess it's not that weird. Uh, I was going to say, actually, yes it is, because these should all be unloading evenly. We're actually missing a wire here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I believe this is... These are all close together, so this is the later version of this build. So I need to I need to patch this wire connection to all of these. Uh, and that will cause them to unload evenly. Um, I think there's one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got the same whoops. Uh, same problem over here. SUC TV. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
What do you call a sheep driving a car in a swimsuit? Uh, good question. What do you call a sheep driving a car in a swimsuit? You beauty. <laughs> uh, that's good. Um, where's our mine blueprint? Here we go. SUC TV, thank you very much for the raid. A Lambikini. Fantastic. Let's hope the bot's working this time. I'll trade and put a shout out. It is broken. I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, Dr. Doof, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love that joke, indeed. An out of ten. Uh, I think we're going to need, like, three of these. How are you doing, Doctor? Seen your stream a little bit. Uh, let's put this here, and these ones here. That should cover this bit. Doof is a boss. Okie dokie. Yes, boss. Oh, did I set up those, uh, those coal mines? Did I switch them on? We've got encoded network ID 2, that's good. Constant combinator is switched off, which is bad. Okay, there we go. Thank you for the follow, me And Dr. Doof, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, it seems we're lacking some... Oh, the construction spiders aren't here yet, that's why. Lacking a bit of belt up here. Um, we're not going to need double belts on that side. Or on this side. I'll just shove that onto there. Um, I think this mine is also going to be a bit slow, so we can probably just do one belt for each, for each of these. Rate calc, I don't know if it'll take... Oh, there's a bunch of ghosts here, so I can't really rate calc this properly anyway. But let's suppose... Let's say there's like 10 per row. Oh, it's doing it without the beacon as well. Okay. So we're not going to know the actual rate until a little bit later. Is this a cryonite planet? Uh, this is actually my Nalvis. As icy as it is. Well, most of it is icy. Um, and one person thought it was a different planet because... I think it was a gentle mad scientist. Assumed it was a different planet because they didn't see any biters. But there are actually a few biters left. We've been slowly chipping away at them. Uh, including using file drivers. Oh, here we go. Speaking of which, we just got our erudite flow much improved by going to a new planet for it. Uh, so now we've got uh, erudite file drivers aiming at the fighter nests. After they fire, they'll automatically find a new target. We actually used these to clear out moors, not moors, uh, rows entirely, but I think there was a bit of a freak accident with 
my best guess is even though we had 10 media defense installations, uh, one of the Bida medias got through miraculously. And then because we didn't pay attention to this place for long enough, uh, they actually just tore straight through it. So we've got our work cut out for us to clear them out again, although it won't be nearly as much as last time. Uh, we've improved, vastly improved, our uh, erudite throughput for now. Going to need some train stops again. Uh, pickup station. Doesn't line up that well. Well, what's our rate, actually? With beacons and all. This one is only 29 per second. Although, is that taking the lack of power into consideration? Um, let's drop some pylons over this way. And rate calculator says 138 per second. Okay. That is a little bit faster. So let's build our mines, uh, sorry, our pickup stations to take advantage of two belts each. Um, I think we should split here and then uh, here as well. Oh, we need a splitter for that one. I think we can make that one our standard. Copy paste this. Actually, just put the underground belts here first. And then we can line it up more easily. Fantastic. Uh. Are these two mines here necessary? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Okay, so we'll put this one here. And this one here. And now we just need to power switch because the wide area beacons are very, very thirsty. Um, let's see, pylon substation goes here, pylon goes here, disconnect these two, connect this one over here, and this one over here, make a accumulator just to measure the charge, Throw down a power switch. Uh, let's put three decider combinators. Accumulator goes here. We're going to read the accumulator charge into these two. They're going to output to this one with its own input linked to its own output. That's going to be our memory cell. And this one just says green has to be greater than zero. The power switch. And we're going to say if accumulated charge greater than some number, output green to switch on. If it drops below some number, output red to switch off. And this thing is going to 
uh, have a condition of green is greater than red. I'll put one green. So if we disconnect this thing from its uh, input decider combinators here, it's going to hold on to that green signal. Since its only inputs are one green signal, uh, every tick it's going to say green signal is greater than red signal, therefore output green signal. It takes one tick for that to decision to happen, zero ticks for the information to be transmitted across wires, and it goes back to its own input. Round and round it goes. Uh, and that's your basic latch. Missing a single belt piece. Hello, uh, Doga. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where are we missing this belt piece? Is it a go? Oh. Wait, no, that one's fine. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Alright, switch this on. And what is wrong with this one? Same problem. Cool. So as soon as there's enough... Um, hole in one of these stations. Uh, there will be a train scheduled to pick it up. I think we'll... Put this here. Like so. some signals. Uh, does this... this works. Where are you trying to go? That should be fine. But there's just a bit of traffic. Alright, cool. Get the spiders to fill out this rail here. What other games do you play, or are you strictly a Factorio player? Uh, I play a lot of games, like all different kinds. On stream, it's mostly just Factorio for now. Uh, definitely what I've been sticking to for some time, uh, for the sake of consistency for the stream. But also, I am very very deep into space exploration. It takes a long time. Uh, I do I do want to finish this space exploration playthrough before I perhaps uh, shift my focus a little bit. Although even when I do do that, it's going to be uh, quite a bit of Factorio still. Maybe just a few more. More than one variety day a week, definitely. Uh, but for myself, like in my own time, I'll play... I don't think you could name a genre that I wouldn't, at least as an exception, uh, give a chance. Well, I'm sure there's something, but you get the idea. Uh, so that's our signaling. I think we also need a couple of chain signals here, I suppose. And that means we need one here, and here. So trains should be able to go in and out of this block now. If I just grab this one, hold control and point where I want the train to go, uh, that's how you make a temporary stop. And if the green highlight reaches where you're pointing, uh, that tells you that the train can pass there. I'm guessing you're not into first-person shooters. I love uh, 
Well, I mostly love older first-person shooters, to be honest. Uh, it does make me a little sad that I'm pretty sure arena shooters are never coming back. Although, if you want something like that, that some people do play, uh, that's a bit more modern, uh, you could try something like, what's it called, Splitgate? The skill ceiling of that is pretty insane. But usually if a shooter has like aim down sights mechanics and that sort of thing, it's starting off on the wrong foot if it wants to get me into it. Okay, so I think we're good here for now. How much coal are we getting out of this? That is another 402 per second. That's good. So the last two coal mines we made were getting about 700 uh, coal per second. That should hopefully catch up with our coal needs sooner or later. That's on top of whatever other coal mines we have and our constant flow of infinite coal. Which is a trickle compared to what we can get if we tap some mines. I'm a huge fan of factory games like Factorio and Dyson Sphere Program. I'm also a pretty high ranked CSGO player. Cool. I guess you liked Quake 3, absolutely. Um, I always wanted to see like the perfect combination of Quake and Unreal mechanics. Um, I'm sure if you mashed most of that together and filtered out not much of it, uh, there's probably a pretty great game there waiting to be made. What is happening with this... Uh, 174... And you've got 170. There's no coal here. So why did it request 174 coal? That's kind of weird. You can just go. I guess the coal must have just gotten used up for something. Though I don't know what we're making here that would have consumed coal. Oh, it's grenades. Yep, there's your problem. Uh, for the short trains, I think the way I've got it set up so that it can take from the logistic network. Provide stack threshold 1, it'll just take pretty much anything. That blue, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Unfortunately, my bot isn't working at the moment, so I can't do a shout out, but by all means everyone check out that blue. Uh, and thank you for the follow. Uh, Kakpastanik? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so in space, our main bottleneck for some time has been coal, because that's where we're getting all of our oil products from. I'm seriously beginning to consider shooting barrels into space um, for oil products because it's it's much more stack efficient to send coal, but we've been struggling on coal for quite a while ever since we expanded the space base up to a point. There's just a uh, it, it, it's a lot of petroleum that goes into chemical gel. A, a, a lot, a lot. Like, really a lot. How's the factory going? Pretty good overall. Do you have a coal ore planet? I don't. There's, we haven't found... I, I actually forgot that it's even possible. I had to, like, check 
on a constant combinator here. Core fragment. Uh, core fragment coal. It does exist. We just haven't found any yet. So all of our coal from core mining uh, comes from breaking down regular core fragments. I thought you use lubricant for chemical gel. Uh, is that possible? Let's see. Gel. Uh, there is some lubricant that goes into it. A very small amount of lubricant goes into cosmic water. Um, but chemical gel itself requires mostly petroleum. Um, so yeah. It is nice uh, that our bottleneck has changed from iridite though. What's happening here? I'm thinking this train stop is slightly broken. Yeah, we're missing 21 heavy girders in these chests. It's going to be a little while before this train leaves. I meant to change that to 200. Uh, we do have a balanced loader here, so that really shouldn't happen that way. But... Here we are anyway. Uh, once we get another delivery of ingots here, it's going to drop some girders in this belt. And the slight imbalance of girders in these chests that added up to 160 stacks that uh, caused this delivery to be scheduled will basically sort itself out. We're just going to bump up the required amount before a train arrives. And that'll effectively fix that. Oh, I did it again. Uh, but now we should be able to see our... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, there's actually a lot of deliveries happening here now. I guess a bunch of other resources were low. And since we've only got room to store one train load, we've set the requests uh, quite low here. Once we got those girders flowing again, all of a sudden we've got three other resources that we have to deliver here. Uh, we've got two chests for explosives, though, so there's no reason we can't make sure that that can catch up when the other resources aren't being delivered. Speaking of... What is... What were those lights I just saw moving around? Did anyone else see that when I, in the little preview window here? I'm pretty sure I saw lights moving. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Where are our spiders? It was aliens? I mean, we've already got aliens we need to deal with. Oh, this spider took some actual damage. Not a whole lot, but still. We, um, uh, we don't have any way to repair things on this planet for now, so we got to be careful. In fact, I should head over there, like, pretty soon. Let's get the rest of these little nests.
seems like it would be a good idea to give the lead spider one Roboport so it can repair the others. Um, I've done that on Narvis, but this planet was sorted out quite a while ago. Except it's not the lead spider, it's one of the ones further back. Uh, that carries a Roboport. Also, we can only carry so many robots and repair packs, and one or the other is going to run out. Um, sooner or later. I was reading an audiobook while doing a bunch of this in my own time, and it keeps coming back to me when I'm clicking around doing this stuff. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. Uh, was this where they can... yeah, they can easily reach that, I think. How many planets have you colonized so far? Uh, 12, if you count Nalvis. Oh, and Nalvis Orbit. I've done a repair spider setup that followed my attack spiders before with pretty decent success, indeed. Uh, currently, with our military spiders on Nalvis, this is actually two groups, I've just been lazy enough to combine them. Uh, but the red spiders, red-ish spiders here, uh, each carry a roboport instead of a laser. The laser's really just there as a backup, because um, you'll no doubt have noticed that uh, the military stuff doesn't waste ammo in this game. If there's a rocket headed towards this spawner that's already going to destroy it. Uh, no one's going to send another rocket at that spawner. That's why we're never seeing the lasers fire, because uh, by the time the biters get in range, there's nothing for the lasers to do, effectively. Um, but it's basically just there as a backup, just in case. It's impressive, I think I'm on four planets, including Nalvis. The thing is, I really like to secure core fragments, so that I don't have to worry about mines running out. Uh, FYF, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have we... I presume we've had trains picking up this coal, because otherwise it would probably have backed up by now. I'll just double check I turned on these constant combinators, yes, fantastic. But that should mean that there's no shortage of coal up here, which doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, coal, okay, we do have coal in the cargo landing pad, so it's probably catching up. These two blocks together can consume, jeez, 537 coal per second. That's kind of a lot. I think we've got enough oil production up here. We just need more coal. Um, and or I should actually do a build that works, uh, that relies on barrels. I just surface mine rare resources. I don't want to worry about core mining rare resources until all the surface deposits are gone. Uh, I like to do it the other way around, whereby I set it up so that basically consuming the stuff from the core fragments is a higher priority. And even if we're using regular mines at the same time, uh, effectively the core mining will keep those regular mines lasting longer. Um, okay, so what's next? 
Uh, we should check on our rocket here. We're looking for pump jacks. I set a rec I set a request for pump jacks ages ago. Oh, we are aiming for a hundred, which is maybe a bit much. But it would just take one delivery in theory. Uh, we've got pump jacks in this robo network, I imagine. We do not. I'm sure we have them in our mall down here. We've got 334. So a, a short train could come and pick up a hundred of those pump jacks uh, right now, actually. Hopefully bumping up the... That one's just finishing its job. Ho hopefully bumping up the train limit on this will help with that. Okay. Um, what should we be focusing on next? Military spiders are on their way back. Fantastic. So, Erudite has been secured. There is a little bit... Oh, that's the wrong planet. Um, Varus? There is a little bit more we could do uh, to increase the throughput. Oh, that's very good, actually. So, our, uh, our fuel... Our, our rocket is being refueled before we catch up with, uh, before we fill it with core fragments. I think we can go back to picking up the erudite as well now, since that won't be a waste. Uh, in a way. Uh, do we have this mine finished properly? We need more productivity modules. I thought I got the spider to go and pick up some more productivities. I better check that it's requesting them. Productivity module 50. We could probably go higher than that. And once it gets supplied and comes back should be enough. Uh, we'll want to launch a rocket with all of the stuff we've queued up to go over there, and then we can actually finish all of these mines. Uh, also another power plant. Maybe even add some more core mining drills, although we're getting a little bit deep into diminishing returns with this many. Uh, but yeah, I would like to set up all of these erudite mines so that we can just forget about them uh, for quite a long time. What else should we be making on Nalvis at the moment? Unless, we're, unless we are going to barrel fluids uh, to send them to space... Maybe we should just barrel crude oil. How much... Let's see. We're, we're using ice for water. That's already much more... Uh, stack size efficient. Crude oil itself turns into 20 heavy, 70 light, and 30 petroleum. And that's not counting... Well, we won't... We won't be able to get any productivity bonuses if we do this in space. That's the only problem. Except what... Fluid is infinite. The productivity bonus we don't get by doing this in space is going to be offset by what we're not paying in cargo rocket sections and space... Well, not space capsules, really. refinery in space. I heard heavy oil export is efficient. 
heavy oil export, as in sending heavy oil barrels? And just cracking the rest? Is that... Uh, heavy to light is 40 to 30, and you need water. So I don't think so. Yeah, it's actually... There is a lot of light that we need, so that's probably more efficient. I don't know how many things use petroleum directly. Um, obviously, we need it for chemical gel. Yeah, something to consider. Um, it's been a while. I haven't actually checked on our attempt at biozones for a while yet. It should be finished, but we've just been... I, I think it is probably finished. We've just been bottlenecked on... Oh, is that what I think it is? Broad biological catalog. None of these are getting made for some reason. Probably because I missed this underground belt. Let's get the construction spiders up here to fix that for us. Fantastic. And that'll go there, there, and there, quadrupling the speed at which we can make broad catalogs. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're still bottlenecked on the input resources themselves. Uh, that this is far faster than we can keep up with. However, 5.5k uh, broad catalog means we are 2.5k away from having a train bring it over here, and then get some biological insights, uh, significant data, and finally some biosites from the rail network, including biosites too. Um, I should check if we got the bioscrubbers. I'm seeing zero bioscrubbers. Uh, have we set everything up to request them? Yes. We do have the Vitamelange extract. I think we have bioscrubbers in... Uh, in our rail network on the ground. Since we can get a productivity bonus here. We've only got 2.4k. What happened? There's no Vitalic Acid, because... Because there's no Vita Melange Extract. I mean, we've got a little bit left, but not really. Um... Oh, that's right. We have no Vit We've run out of Vita Melange because... Rose. Rose is our one planet we're getting Vitamelange core fragments from, and it got effectively wiped out. Where are our spiders? Still looking good. Okay, so I think it's time to go to Rose. We'll configure this... Uh, I should take some spiders with me. Where did the spiders even go? Um, okay, that's regular spider farms. Did I keep them in my inventory, or were they in the rocket before? Don't tell me I left them on Varus, just sitting in... No. I remember I packed up the spiders that we had here, except for this one. And I think I put them in my inventory before I uh, rode the rocket back. And we've got like 18 or 19 of them. 
decked out with um, Yep, here we go. On the way, eight. Okay, cool. So that is actually 18 spiders. Set up to be construction spiders. Good. Um, we're obviously not going to be loading volume accumulators this time. Uh... What do we need to replace on rows? We need to take some military stuff and actually make some defenses. As much as I would prefer not to need to do that. It might be really, really overkill, but maybe I should just look at my usual... We could use the smallest version of my military wall. That w the wall only needs to be able to stop like small groups of biters trying to make expansions after uh, after a bite of media gets through. So let's say let's say we build these walls. Um, start here. And about... We haven't actually made a corner section for this. But we'll figure something out. I just want to get an approximation of how much stuff I'm going to need to build this. Okay, so what we're going to do is use the Deconstruction Planner Entity Ghost. Mouse over all of this. And we're looking at... That's actually much less than I thought. Um, 1.3k walls. 117 flamethrower turrets. 145 laser turrets. Um... 168 gun turrets. We'll call it 300 of each just to be safe, just so it can resupply. A uh, bunch of roboports. Okay, let's start plugging in some of this stuff. Uh, wall? Not that kind. 1500. 300 of each type of turret. A I am Sir and Sydney Kenson von Ice T. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many gates was it? Like less than 200? I think. Uh, throw in some radars. What else? We'll need some instruction bots, logistic bots, and uh, roboports. Call it 50, I think. Let's double check again. Rose. Grab our Tile Ghost Deconstruction Planner. It's only 32 Robopods. We also need to replace a lot of the core stuff. 887 regular solar panels. Do we even have those still? And accumulators? Uh, 
32 Robopods? Yeah, we'll take 50 just so we have some spares. We do have regular solar panels. Fantastic. Uh, we're already taking this stuff, which is good. Uh, I think the only thing... Well, we don't... We're not going to set up nuclear power on this planet, at least not yet. Although, maybe it would be easier to just keep this in here and leave ourselves the option for later. In case the throughput of Vitamelange ever gets really, really high. That we want lots of power for the core mining. Also, once we do have it set up to dump excess Vitamelange we can get more regular core fragments from the Vitamelange core fragments. You upload this series to YouTube? Uh, kind of. I... Every week or two, um, I port it over to YouTube. I have missed a couple of episodes, unfortunately. Um, but I haven't found a way to automate that whereby the settings on the videos are something that I like so uh, for the moment it's just sort of chucked over there bit by bit. I don't think we need drills this time but also why don't we have any drills here? Electric mining drill. We've, we're out of gears that's actually really alarming. Zero hogs in this block. Oh, well, there's your problem. Um, back to the depot with you, please. Provide stack threshold two hundred was apparently not high enough uh, to make sure that precise loader worked properly. Let's go fix it. So the trick to this, which it took quite a while to figure out, the reason it mysteriously may work most of the time and then eventually get jammed like this, is a combination of two things. If we're using, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, nope, 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 okay. Uh, if we're using a balanced loader circuit um, to keep all of these chests balanced, it's not going to be perfect. And what I might do is just do the thing that's been a lot more reliable in this respect. Uh, we're going to limit all of these chests to... I'm going to have to get rid of these hogs to do that. Let's get our deconstruction spiders over here. I'll get them to pick this up. Also, turn this off for a second. How many hours do you have in this save? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. generally mean. Welcome, welcome. Thank you doing well. Yeah, so what we have here is a circuit which ensures that precisely the right number of um, whichever item is put into the train. And the only reason that we're doing that is to make sure the inserters don't stick out at the end. Otherwise, bad things happen. Since we're loading different resources from the same uh, train stop. I thought I turned this off. Um, because we're loading it into more than one cargo wagon at a time, we need to ensure... Uh, we, we can't read the individual cargo wagons for how much is left in each cargo wagon. So what we have to do is load all four of them in perfect sync. And since we're doing that, we need to make absolutely sure that 
the uh, the amount of stuff in each of these chests. You know what? At this stage, it's probably easier if I just... How many stacks is this? 48 times 24. 48 times 24 is 1152. This is stupid, but... It's by far the easiest short-term fix for this. We're going to make sure all of these chests have to be completely full uh, before a train comes to pick this stuff up. We'll get the construction spiders back over here to fix it. Actually, I think I can fix it. Apparently I'm not carrying a rail these days. That's weird. I guess I forgot to turn on my personal logistics. Uh, but yeah, it's very important to make sure that the inserters never run out of whichever resource uh, they're putting in when you're counting on this circuit being all synchronized. And to do that, uh, if you're going to use a balanced loader circuit like that, uh, you should set the provide stack threshold significantly higher than what it should normally take. This one's set to 250, which I think should be way more than enough, although it looks like the chests were full to begin with. And once you've got some sort of system in place, it might be limiting the chests to seven stacks each and then making sure those are all full or it might be making sure the entire chest is full. Um, which is obviously a bit silly. Uh, once you can be absolutely sure the inserters won't run out while they're doing their thing, it's just a matter of subtracting what's in the train from what the train is asking for, doing some division, setting stack sizes, and having just one insert a swing uh, at the end of it. To do that, we say read train contents, each times negative one. Read from the logistic train stop output. That passes through here, each greater than zero, pass it through. Big negative numbers going in here for the signals that we don't want. That gives us the amount that's yet to be put in the train still. This is actually a slightly older design. I've I've reduced the count of combinators that we need for this, but here we're seeing each over 24 output each. And same thing output S goes to the red wire, which touches all of these inserters. Uh, set filters, set stack size S, and then uh, the green wire just goes to one inserter per cargo wagon per resource, and we're saying each less than 24 output each. That passes through the filter. Um, the default stack size, if you are setting the stack size with a signal, but you don't give it that signal, is 1. Uh, so once our remainder of each divided by 24 is 0, uh, we're just going to have the one inserter with a stack size of 1 per cargo wagon uh, left to put the rest in. Uh, so that should fix this little problem. I'm also considering uh, copying this block somewhere because... It might be about time that, let's see, 180 iron gears per second is maybe not enough to keep up with the entire base anymore. Have you seen the actual processing computers people have made in this game with the combinators? Uh, not really, but I've seen them in Minecraft, and I understand that... If you can build a basic logic gate, you can build a computer. 
I didn't get that far with it, but if anyone's interested, uh, there's a series called Nand to Tetris, and the idea is they'll show you step by step how to go from literally just one logic gate to building an entire computer with Tetris on it. Um, this is going to take a little while to catch up now. Since I got rid of all those gears. Okay. I should probably design... Hmm. Where's my beacon? I don't have any. Okay. Uh, I should maybe put wide area beacons here. With the layout that we've got, we might be lucky and just be able to shove this in here. There will be a few, just a few, um, assembly machine twos, uh, threes rather, not touching that beacon if we put that there. We'd probably need to change the number of assembly machines here as well. Uh, over this side, that actually fits everything. Okay. And what about here? Uh, I don't think we can keep the machines in the middle, but we could probably just remove them. Oh, we need to do two of these, I think. But I don't think we actually need anywhere near as much multi-cylinder engine production as we've got. Some of the stuff is very impressive. Are you by any chance an engineer? I'm afraid not. Uh, not quite so lucky as to have that sort of education, but let's just say I'm an engineering fan. An average science enjoyer. Redesign everything. We'll never get, uh, we'll never get to like the next science pack if I redesign everything. Speaking of which, I really need to get to Rose, uh, to get that Vitamelange flowing again. So let's review what we've got here. Lots of chests, inserters, belts, pipes, storage tanks, roboports, uh, heat pipe. Cargo rocket silo, landing pad, nuclear reactor, solar panels, robots, some mines, which I don't think we really need. Uh, lots of solar panels. Oh, we didn't get any of the military stuff yet because we're still trying to load uh, miners. So I think we'll... Where even are we requesting miners? Here we go. I might just turn that off for now. And I'll have a look at... Um, pump jacks. I'll be carrying some pump jacks already. Let's turn on... Wait. Nope. Nope. Uh, rip spiders. Considering what I see in your Factorio, you seem like a very proficient engineer. Thank you. Um, the only trouble with this is it's going to produce a bunch more spiders that we don't need for now. I need to get rid of... Somewhere in here I've got a request for zero spiders for some reason. I need to make that zero to infinity. Oh. I think it's uh, Auto Trash's fault, actually. Let's, um... Where should I put the Spidertron? Right about here? And... 
Wait, what did I just click on that gave me like a circuit thing? Uh, anyway, we're going to set this to zero to infinity. And save it to player. Apply changes. That should prevent... Um, oops. Should prevent auto crash from messing with my spiders there. Would you recommend I beat the game in vanilla before trying SE? Probably, yes. Though it's not absolutely required by any stretch. Um, but unless you want to build mega bases or some other self-imposed challenge, uh, in the vanilla game, launching a rocket like this is the end of the game. Uh, in space exploration, it's kind of the beginning. That's why the Combinators and Possibilities fascinate me. The Combinators are very different in Factorio to anything I've seen anywhere else. Um, I had some experience, uh, some skill with Redstone in Minecraft. But it didn't help me a whole lot uh, with Factorio Combinators. They are wholly different. The, the shape of them, the way they work and everything is significantly different uh, from what you might have learned somewhere else from like circuit theory. How much have we got here? 103k. We need like another 10,000 before this fills up. Um, I don't know why this ever failed, to be honest. Probably because we had an iron shortage before. I th think if I do this... What's 7 times 24 again? 168. I should have remembered that by now. I'm just going to set the... Provide stack threshold to 168. And in theory, we shouldn't get a train getting stuck here anymore, but maybe... Maybe before these chests get emptied to that point again. Never played Minecraft, so I don't understand the logic of making computers there, but I definitely like the ways it can be done in Factorio. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but... Uh, there's definitely a logic gate or two uh, that you can look up pretty much anywhere that, you know, you can recreate that in Minecraft. Uh, there's a little bit of stone here. Uh, pretty straightforward, but how to make a logic gate with a factorio circuit. Uh, let's see. If we want an AND gate, we need, like, Probably two decider combinators, and given a couple of conditions, output tick, and then like tick equals two. Um, and then if you want to pass something through based on that. Yeah, uh, suffice to say, I haven't taken the first step to trying to design a um, computer in Factorio. Um, even if you have programming uh, experience, it's a whole different thing as well, figuring out how to solve problems in what is called low-level programming, where you're working with, like, the smallest amounts of information and the smallest operations on those uh, bits of information, or close to it, as you can get. You understand how AND and NAND gates work? Uh, the physics of it? Definitely not. Um, NAND is not AND. As, as in the inverse of AND, right? How AND and NAND gates. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know. Like, if I had, if I had some logic, uh, some computer circuit logic problem that was already solved, um, and I had that laid out on paper or something, uh, and I was going to do that in Factorio with that exact like same layout. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't necessarily be that smooth of an operation as much as I have figured out how to do quite a lot by most people's standards in Factorio. We also get ore and gnaw gates, indeed. Uh, what are we trying to load here again? I don't think we have the walls. Yeah, I think we were only producing the walls in the old main bus base, which I've slowly been dismantling. Do we have them here? We do. Let's get them delivered. Um, so we need... I'll get the short train to deliver them, I think. Or if I use this one, it can be a short train. Spike, steel walls, 3,000. And those should be on their way pretty soon. Although, I think just to save some time, I might just go and pick them up. If I can remember where we put them, there we go. There are a couple of different types of gates, and they have, they all have an N inverse that works the opposite way, in D. There's a lot you can do with Factorio um, signals that, like one wire can carry an awful awful lot of information, depending on how you uh, want to store it. So the most efficient way to go about things is very different to what a normal circuit diagram would look like. For example, if you want to do a digital display, um, the tricky part to it... Okay, it, it's actually kind of easy if you want, if you don't care about how many combinators you use and you're just sort of getting into this stuff. Where did I put it? Oh, clocks. Yeah, this is like, this is like my first digital display that I made. Um, suffice to say it uses a few more combinators than uh, strictly necessary. Um, but I think each of these, there's 10 of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, ten. 10. Um, each of these constant combinators has, like, some information about which of these lights should be switched on. And it passes this information through if the number we're passing to here equals 0, equals 1, equals 2, equals 3, and so on. Um, but there's a way to store that information much in a much more compact manner. Uh, basically... Uh, it's called bit shifting. If you if you store the information as numbers, you can decode it into bits. So like uh, the number one would just be one bit. The number two is just this one bit. The number three is these two bits together, and the number four is this bit. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. So, in a single number, you can actually store, depending on how many bits you literally shift things to the left or right, uh, you can store, like, this bit should be on or off. Uh, this, this one light with... Uh, we're going to label the lights like A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Uh, the lights that correspond to A 
are going to be like off, off, on, off, on, off, depending on which number we're looking at. So by having a constant combinator that's got a big number for A, big number for B, big number for C, and so on, uh, you can actually store all of that in a single constant combinator. Could you understand a detailed machine circuit diagram? Uh, probably not on first glance. I'd probably have to look up a thing or two uh, about the, like, naming conventions and all of that sort of thing. That, I'm going to steal this real quick before the bots take it back. Oh. Teacher, Tyrannosaurus Hex, teaching chat about left and right shifts. Yeah, that's, there's a good tutorial on it. Uh, on YouTube somewhere, but that was that's by far the most tricky part. Uh, if you look up how to make a like a digital clock or something in Factorio, most of it is not too difficult to understand, and you could even see yourself eventually coming up with it yourself. But bit shifting is the stuff that is oh, that's clever. Um, Alright, so we've got our spiked steel walls over here now. Fantastic. Just want to double check on rows. Our spiders seem to be safe. Double check on Varus, our new outpost. Um, we're actually bottlenecking on fuel. Okay, do we have any more? We've got seven chemical plants. I don't see any fuel refineries. So I don't think we're going to get that sorted out until... Um, uh, until we get that rocket delivered. Unless we can make them. That's a bit much. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set up a whole production chain for that over here. Why am I still carrying steel walls here? Oh, okay. I thought I had it set to remove them automatically. What are we trying to load right now? Uh refineries. Why do we not have refineries? Are we requesting refineries? Uh, we're not, because I turned this off and forgot about it. Okay. What else seems to be the problem? Iron plate. That's not a good sign. Architect Janik? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so what's our priority here? 10,000 and we're not getting iron plate delivered. Uh, something is very wrong here. We've got zero iron plate and I don't see a train. Oh. It might be the case that that light is supposed to be yellow at the moment. Um, it looks like a couple of our old stations. Not even the older ones. Uh, I was going to say it looks like a couple of our older stations have... Why is this happening now? We've had this working for like literally hundreds of hours. I, I shouldn't have told that train to go back home yet either. I need to find the offending inserter that's sticking out somewhere around here. There they are.
Actually, I have a way to fix that remotely somewhat. Just takes a lot of clicking though. And it does drop all this stuff on the ground. I'm guessing we've had some brownouts lately. I think that can affect it as as well. But judging by the shape of the accumulator discharge, uh, it doesn't look like we've been having that sort of problem. Okay, just gonna deconstruct, undo, and that should work again. I'm not seeing any other trains stuck in those positions, which is even more odd. You would think there would be a lot of trains having that problem, or none at all. Our Omni smelters seem to be going full speed now. No overflow chest. Uh, there's a little bug. Which one is it? This one? There's a little bug that happens with crafting combinators sometimes. Oh. Wait, what? I just... No overflow chest. Okay, so... So it is this one. There we go. Literally just rotate it around a bit. And that'll fix it. And I've never seen it, um... I've never seen it, like, need attention again. When you get this bug, you just have to fix it once. Okay. So I think we could probably stand to make some more smelters, perhaps? Let's check the input resources over here. We've got 27k copper, not that much iron, not that much stone. And... 30k... Okay, we're just getting some iron in. Over here. I don't know if we need any more smelters just yet. I do want to replace the old smelters with these ones. Uh, it is going to be a bit of a task though, something to do offline I think. And we'll just confirm that this is working. Uh, 300 stack threshold should be way, way more than enough. to ensure this works. But I think I think I'll do what I was doing at the other station. Set it so that we can only get 168 stacks and perfectly What? What just I only copied the chests, right? What just happened? Um, okay, so it's not very helpful, but for whatever reason, the logistic train stop output spits out something the train has in it as well, or had in it when it arrives here. Uh, we only want the glass signal from here, but I don't think there's a way to uh, disentangle it. Glass goes here. Glass goes here. I have no idea how I just made this happen. Glass goes here. Get rid of the iron. Why is this one nearly empty? I think I must have accidentally taken glass from it. Um... Yeah, that's... that's bad. Alright, let's do... even distribution. 
all of the chests. Why? Why did that just happen? Oh my... What? Why are we... Why is there glass everywhere on the ground now? Did that... That did just happen, right? What on earth are we dealing with all of a sudden? Jeez. Okay, we have spiders specifically to deal with... Well, not something like this, but they'll do. We have a deconstruction planner with item on ground. We're going to use it. A 69,000 glass? That's, uh... That's more than four times what fits in a train. I don't know what just happened. I'm, I'm just gonna get this train to leave for now. And, uh... Turn this station off. Get rid of the inserters. Wait for the spiders to get here. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Why... why would it eject all of the glass all of a sudden? Oh, I think I know what just happened. Oh. Remember how I uh, limited these chests to seven stacks each? And then I used even distribution? And now all of those forbidden stacks have been emptied from the chests? I, I think we figured it out. <laughs> Oh boy, what a great mod. <laughs> yeah, well, today I learned a new function for it. Thank you, thank you. Skrizelic, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's going to take a moment, so why don't we check on our military spiders back on rows? And I can't find the leader. Still can't find the leader. There we go. We'll give them something to do. And I'll do the same thing with the military spiders. Just double check there aren't any more spider nests in this path over this way. Um, and then over here. Down this way. Use the navsat to scout before we do it. There's some more... I don't know if those expansions were there already, but in any case, we should definitely be a bit more diligent about clearing them out more quickly. Oh boy. That's... That's a lot. Okay. It's not too, too much, but at the same time... The implications for the rest of the planet are a bit dire. Go 
over here. Over here. So many of them. They're all quite small, at least. I don't think I've ever seen an expansion base be more than just a few spawners. Although the number of worms that they may have can be a little bit much. get the rest of these ones before we clock out. Okay. That should do it. And then we'll get them to visit this little island. Should be able to cross that quite easily. Let's check on Nalvis. Wow. Uh, okay. That might take... I think the deconstruction spiders might be full. Let's bring him back to the mall. And they haven't even removed the inserters yet. This will take a while. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, military spiders. They should be back at the mall right now. There we go. Uh, let's bring them back down this way. And we'll get those spawners that we missed earlier. Check that there haven't been any more expansions. Uh, nothing. I really wasn't expecting that. Is it just a couple of worms? No, there's a spawner here. That's surprising. Alright, we'll get the spiders to roll over them. And then over this way. Oh, don't miss this one. How much can a spider carry glass wise? It's like 80 stacks. Uh, minus a little bit. Call it 75,000. So, theoretically, a single one of those spiders should have been able to carry all of the glass, but I think the bottleneck is going to be... I think the bottleneck is going to be the uh, batteries and the uh, the power generation on the spiders themselves. It's going to take a little while to pick up all that glass, absolutely. Okay, how much have we queued up here? Not that much. Let's keep going. And I think I'll get him to come back for a resupply after that. As much so that I don't have to think about them for a minute as anything else. Why did you spill glass all over your base? Um, I limited these chests because I was going to change the way the loader works. And then I used even distribution. And I found out the hard way that even distribution respects these uh, 
uh, these red squares right here. So now we've got about 60,000 glass lying on the ground. That's how that happened. Let's go back home. <laughs> Not like this, indeed. What happened? Even distribution and me not knowing that even distribution respects these red squares. Uh, and we and we dropped tens of thousands of glass all at once. Noxy Way Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not like this, indeed. What are our spiders doing? Still haven't had another scratch. That's good. Another. S There's another base right here. That's bad. Back to the safety island. Uh, what should I do in the meantime? Where are our decon spot? Oh, wow. Yeah. Look. Look at those bots recharge. They've got eight Roboports each so that they have maximum range, but they're, they're bottlenecking on just one RTG. That's going to take a moment to fix. I'm going to turn off my Roboport and head back down here. Um, and we'll reset these uh, inserters. I'm a little bit confused and concerned as to how how we're suddenly getting a bunch of these stations getting jammed when it literally worked with these exact settings for a long, long, long time. Okay. I think it was just the iron that was sticking out. Nope. Alright, so now we're gonna undo. What? I thought that would be like 30 undo steps, so I pressed it twice and I have no idea what else I just... Oh, it's the stuff on the ground. Uh... Okay. Um. This is going to be a bit of a problem. I can hardly see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. And like this. And I think that's all it takes. I'll just double check the wiring once that's done. One stack inserter per cargo wagon connected to the green wire. All of them connected to the red. Uh, we also need this to be connected over here. And uh, this over here, actually. Okay, what are those red things on the ground? Uh, it's actually glass, but marked for deconstruction. Because we had a bit of a spill.
Don't know why I've got these bots slowly catching up to me right now. Okay. A bit? Yeah, a bit. Just just a smidge. On, only about 64,000 blasts. It's fine. No use crying over 64,000 spilt glass. What the? Is that actually on the belt or? I don't think it's on the belt. It's fine. This is fine. Yes. Okay, back to the mall. I'll wait until these poor robots have recharged before we uh, take another crack at that. Actually, maybe I could, could get the construction spiders to help with this. There's a lot more of them. Item on ground. Fif oh, there's only 59,000 glass to go. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. No path? Where are you trying to go? That's actually cool and good. Alright, what are we trying to load still? A lot. Uh, we need oil refineries. For that we need pipe. Shouldn't pipe be in here somewhere? Yes, yes it should. Okay, that'll take up to 30 seconds to tick over. Once T reaches 1800, it's going to update all of these uh, uh, things that we're crafting. In five, four, three, two. I forgot the UPS is not 60. And go. We're still not making. Yes, we are. That's pipe. Fantastic. Okay. What about our poor construction spy? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think their batteries are probably already depleted. Nope, not even close. Not just yet, anyway. Could you show me your power system? Uh, sure. We do have a lot of solar spam. Uh, I still haven't finished upgrading these. It's proven to be a bit of a nuisance because... For various reasons, um, the bots haven't been very responsive as I walk the construction spiders over here. Uh, but we've also got a bunch of nuclear plants. Uh, it takes a bit of work to design these. I, I recommend doing it in like sandbox mode where you can turn... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Landfill back into water. But uh, basically, because nuclear power uses so much water, and the more pipes that you have in a, in series, uh, the less throughput you get. Uh, we've actually got the offshore pumps connected directly. One offshore pump for each... Uh, seven heat exchanges, which is way more than enough. Uh, so we've got, uh, we've got this whole thing in its own, uh, offshore 
landfill based blueprint. This is a slightly newer iteration of it. Uh, but basically, we've got a bunch of uh, storage tanks after the steam turbines in case we're producing more steam than we're consuming to turn into power. And we've got it so that we are not putting more nuclear fuel in unless and until the steam drops below 2.5k on one of these storage tanks. Uh, so that way we avoid wasting fuel. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, it just so happens... I forget where you can look this up, but uh, the best ratios for like how many steam turbines to use for each like layout of nuclear reactors. Um, I kind of like designed this block and then st then went to add nuclear reactors to it and found that it was pretty much it's literally as close as you can get to a perfect ratio if you're going to use eight nuclear reactors. It gets more efficient if you use more. I should probably take the time to make a even bigger one. Um, but 8 is still pretty good, obviously. Uh, the, the slightly newer version just takes advantage of um, flat solar panels and uh, pylon substations. So it doesn't need to waste that extra space in the middle. It's slightly smaller. And, uh, yeah. So even if you put fuel in... Like, if you build this thing on its own somewhere, uh, and run it off the solar panels just to get the robopots working and stuff, um... If it's not connected to some external drain of power and you put that little bit of fuel in at the start, it won't quite waste any of that fuel. It'll all get turned into steam and or accumulator charge and or uh, just temperature in the heat pipes, which counterintuitive, uh, counterintuitively enough, uh, heat is never lost. Uh, it won't dissipate over time. It's left to its own devices. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's our power generation. Offshore with offshore pumps as close to the water consumers as possible. And that's basically it. It's just... Oh. Okay, good, that's working. Fantastic. Uh, where are we now? Our construction spiders... Cleared out more of this glass in one go than I expected them to. So that's good. Thanks very much, no worries, by doubt. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get our construction spiders back here. Uh, deconstruction spiders have charged their bots and roboports somewhat, so we'll tag them in. And what about iron? Oh, it was gears, wasn't it? We did get our iron gear wheels. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Um... We're still looking for refineries. We're still waiting for pipe. Pipe is waiting for iron, weirdly enough. Oh, we've... We've still got no iron plate here. That's concerning. Twenty thousand. Request stack threshold forty. Request priority 10,000. How are we not getting iron plate here? What are we making? No, how much have we got? 
1.9k iron plate, we're currently making stone brick. Turning it all into steel over here. Except, the way I've got it set up here... We kind of prioritize filling the requester chests with iron plate over turning it into steel. Are we not picking up iron plate from here? Provide stack threshold 160. We've got 20 plus 20. Eight times twenty, one sixty. I tested this in the sandbox world as well before uh, before bringing this into our main save. So here we've got. One, two, and I'm guessing three. We've got three uh, train loads of iron plate waiting to be picked up. But there's no train coming to get it. Is this a higher priority? There's no priority setting on these. It's probably just... Uh, it's probably just going for the ones that are closer. But even so, there's lots of train stations available to drop off iron plate here. What's the train limit? Four? Five. So there should already be a train queuing up to deliver iron plate to this block. I don't understand how we don't have it yet. Alright, let's go look at yet another confused train. We should probably... We should probably patch all of these at the same time. Oh, and I completely forgot about this one that's stuck as well. It could be the case that it's trying... What? Oh, you're kidding. Wait, how did this happen? I think I... I think I might have solved the mystery. Okay, so our provide stack threshold is 300, which should be way more than enough to make sure there's enough to just insert the resource, like, to keep all the inserters swinging in sync. But for some reason, this, uh, this train is trying to deliver both glass and iron at the same time. And it is trying to go to the mall. This one's reserved to go to the mall. That's why another train isn't trying to bring us iron plate right now. Um, crap, I should have... I shouldn't have sent that there. I'm going to lose track of which one needs fixing. I bet this one might be the same. It is. Okay, the problem is not with how much stuff we're accumulating and how well it's balanced and what our provide stack threshold is, whether it's high enough to keep the inserters in sync. The problem is we set up something in the mall that will allow uh, long trains to try and pick up two resources at the same time from one station. Can you command the trains according to a signal? Uh, yes. In what way? So anything that's dropped off at this long train station should be request stack threshold 160. Yeah, I never should have changed that. Um, which means we'll probably never get short trains delivering to here. 
which is fine, I suppose. We do have a... I think I need to add a station. Hmm. If the request stack threshold is 160... Yeah, I might have to change that up a bit. Um... Okay, so I'm just going to send this one on its way. And we're just going to reset these inserters right here. And I don't think we need to change anything else. All we need to do is make sure we don't... I, I would have thought with the provide stack threshold... Hmm... I think it's the request stack threshold that counts to make sure that we don't request two of those resources at the same time from the same station. We just want to have mono trains as far as the long trains are concerned. Which one of these had inserters sticking out at the end? Or did it just happen to not stick out? Nope, oh, nope, there it is. Okay. And I'd better double check these ones as well. There's actually like 30 stations that could be messed up like this now. So it wasn't anything that I did uh, at the actual pickup stations that messed them up, oddly enough. It was it was because I set the request threshold here low enough for it to try to put in two different resources into the same train at the same time. What can you do extra with LTN network? Well, for starters, uh, quite a lot, to be honest. I'm not sure where to begin. Um, I don't need to have an iron ore train, an iron plate train, a copper ore train, a copper plate train, and so on. I don't need to guess how many of each type of train I need to have. I just need to have enough cargo wagon trains and enough fluid wagon trains. Um, I can set up very, very, very easily. Uh, I can set priorities on train stations. I can have certain train stations not allowed to interact with certain other train stations. For example, we've got uh, storage here. I can easily set it up so that we don't pick up iron plate from storage to deliver iron plate to storage. And because of that, I can also make sure in this block here where we destroy resources to keep uh, core mining going. We're never going to destroy... We're never going to have iron ore, for example, delivered from an iron ore mine directly to the destruction area. It's only going to go to smelters and stuff. Um, but the stuff that we pick up from here, because core fragment processing gives us arbitrary ratios of each resource, which will only coincidentally match the rate that we're consuming them. If we get, for example, too much copper, uh, there's, a, there's a few different ways to go about it, but no matter how you do go about it, you will need to filter the outputs and send them to different places. And once you run out of storage space for any one of these resources, it's going to stop the entire thing. And just because we're full on copper doesn't mean we don't need more iron, uh, for example. So the resources picked up specifically from core fragment processing can be taken to this block here to destroy them, but also it's set as a super low priority. Um, it'll go literally anywhere else first. 
which means, for example, we'll have half a million copper ore stored over here before we start getting rid of it. Um, you can also have, like we've got here, a pickup or a combined pickup or drop off stations. Um, you can have, let's see, this is without even using bots. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we could definitely do eight different resources output from one train station onto belts. Um, up in space, we've got stations that do things like glass, iridium plate, uh, low density structures, and chemical gel. Um, just for a quick example. Uh, so yeah, there is quite a lot that you can do with LTN that there is probably no way to do with vanilla, at least as far as I've been able to think of, and I have thought about it quite a lot. Although my skills with circuits have progressed a bit since then, I still don't know where I would even begin to try to get, like, an LTN-like system in Factorio with vanilla. So, our modern, uh... Oh, that's actually another example. But I was gonna say, our modern, uh, bot-based Omni-Smelter, um... We've actually got one drop-off for... 10 different resources. Um, and we're just reading from the logistic network to tell if we've got enough of those resources. But getting away from bots for a second, uh, with this belt-based uh, Omni Smelter, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, in this rail block here, we could fit 12 train stations. Along with everything that we're actually doing. Of course, that's in combination with our two-way rail, where they, the trains can go both ways on the roundabouts. Uh, but yeah, the complexity and the density that you can get... Whoops. Uh, with LTN as opposed to vanilla is much, much higher. It definitely has a learning curve and it's got some problems, but it's well worth using, in my opinion. Um, what are we fixing next? I need to do something to ensure that we do get all of these resources delivered. That seems fine. What about these other ones? There was something I was requesting less than a full train load of. I need to request that at the uh, short train station. I'll just check everything here is at least a train load. 2k productivity modules, probably not. We should be making those locally anyway, or we can, at least. I'm surprised there's actually not that many inputs here. Uh, so we'll go... Modules. And the other one was... Steel spiked walls. And I should have been putting that in as a negative. This is uh, one reason that I've set my defaults for provide threshold and request threshold to a million. Because if I hadn't caught that, uh, LTN would have thought that there's 2,000 speed modules here available for pickup. 
I really need a good shop. Oh, you mean like a mall? Like this one? Are we just about done loading this? We're still looking for fuel refineries. Um, and it's still bottlenecked on pipe. I make most of the intermediate products by hand. Yeah, you should definitely set up a mall for that. Um, okay. Check on the spiders real quick. They are doing just fine. Check on the other spiders. They're okay also. Let's get them to clear out some more biter nests. And we don't have to look very far to find some, unfortunately. I should check if the pile drivers are doing their jobs. Right after we queue this up. Just a few more. I do wish I could get them to seek and destroy. Uh, I made the most humble beginnings of trying to figure that out with AAI. But even if I did do that, um, AAI is just a bit too UPS hungry. Um, I don't think we'd ever get through a space exploration playthrough uh, with that mod included and used as well. Okay, let's get them over here. Could you show me one little example of use of the LTN network? Uh, sure. Do you mean, like, how to do it? Uh, so... Let's see. Uh, pickup stations are probably the easiest. Let me find some room, actually. Let's go down here. Oh, this one's still stuck. Let's send you back. Why is this one not operational? You're kidding. How did this happen? Rocket has to be ready to launch. Blacklist rocket control unit. How did this happen? Set filters. Oh. Wait, what? Set filters blacklist. Oh, this got the wrong thing copy pasted to it. We're gonna have to drain that whole cargo rocket silo. That's unfortunate. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, no, we are. Okay. Let's do that soon. Um, easiest thing in LTN is probably a pickup station. Uh, all you have to do is tell it what is in these chests. Um, LTN treats a positive signal to the logistic train stop input as being something that is available for pickup. 
Wow, are you the real Tyrannosaurus Rex? Indeed. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, by default, I think... I, I strongly recommend going into the mod settings for LTN. Because I think requests threshold and provide threshold defaults to something like a thousand. Uh, and you're definitely going to get trains picking stuff up before you're ready. Uh, also, some of the other settings in combination with that, like, uh, let's see. Uh, is it this one? Finish loading. Prevents trains from leaving while inserters or pumps are working by adding two seconds of inactivity condition. So a train is going to get here looking for a thousand iron plate or something. And then it's going to keep loading until the inserters, until five, uh, until two seconds of inactivity. So it's going to completely overload the train. And then depending on the requests you have at the other end, it might arrive somewhere with too much stuff. Hey, Ninja Dogs. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, there's a few settings. I mean, to each their own with the logistic network settings, uh, train network settings. But there's stuff in here that I think by default is absolutely a newbie trap. So I strongly recommend going through these and changing them to whatever you like. Uh, the delivery timeout, finish loading, and default uh, provide and request thresholds in particular, uh, I would recommend looking at. Um, but yeah, with this constant combinator, we feed the logistic train stop uh, some signals that just determine some settings, basically, for the station. Uh, train limit, length of trains that are allowed to come here and in this case provide stack threshold and this means that we have to have uh, four t uh, four cargo wagons full available before a train will come to pick this stuff up and don't worry about encoded network ID for now uh, as for a drop-off station it's pretty similar uh, except Instead of feeding it a positive signal of what we've got available here to pick up, we want to feed it a negative signal of whatever we want to be brought here by LTN. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just think of it as LTN will always try to bring it towards zero. And also just reading what's in the chests gives a positive signal. Uh, so a negative signal means we want something brought here. Uh, and that's pretty much the basics for LTN, I think. Um, I don't know what else I would suggest to start with. Since you don't play music, I can run my own music, very pop. That is the idea, yes. Um, I think we need this here. Let's go fix that cargo rocket silo. And there's probably a couple of other things we need to fix as well. Let's get our construction spiders. And the construction spiders over here to pick up all of that glass. Um, where are you taking this? Oh. Oh. Um, okay, I did say don't worry about encoded network ID, but here's actually a perfect example. That should be a 2. So by default, if you don't put in an encoded network ID, it basically means that this station is allowed to interact with any other station. Uh, the encoded network IDs are in binary, so uh, one, uh, three would mean both one and two. 
but basically these are like virtual train networks sort of things. This station here offers everything that's in the logistic network, the robot network, uh, to the rail network, and this station here is requesting stuff. So we just got a train scheduled to pick up from here and deliver to here, which we don't want. Uh, so all we have to do to prevent that is uh, set this one, for example, to encoded network ID 1. This one is encoded network ID 2. And we're never going to get a schedule again to deliver from here to here. Like 99% of people don't understand them. That was very helpful, thanks, no worries. I really do not get the binary network numbers. Would could you do that? Uh, sure. Let me just fix this first. And... Conveniently enough, I think we can just... How many do we have here? 499. Uh, we need 11 chests. Okay. Filter, inserter... Cargo... Rocket section. What the? Wait, what? Where did? Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> I think we just. I think we may be launching a bunch of cargo rocket sections. Uh, into space where it's supposed to be. Rocket control units. Right about here, actually. Wait, what? This one's full. It, it definitely shouldn't be launching here. Wait, what is this supposed to be? RCU. Um... Well, I think we need to keep an eye on this right now. Yeah, the nanosecond that there was an empty space, it put the space capsule in, and then it was ready to launch, and then it auto-launched. Uh, so... Somewhere... up here... There's a cargo landing pad... Uh, that's named to receive rocket control units. I thought it would be this one, but it won't lot it won't auto launch unless this is empty. Uh so I don't actually know where this is going at all. And I'm not seeing it. Where did it go? Nalvis orbit, Nalvis orbit RCU. Okay, it is filling with rocket control units, that is good. Let's just double check this here. Uh, one space capsule and a hundred cargo rocket sections. Set filters blacklist. Okay, good. I actually... have no idea where that rocket just went. <laughs> Okay, um, on the plus side, we've got broad biological catalogs here. On the minus side, we somehow got that 7.9 thousand that doesn't quite trigger a train delivery. Um, yeah, I actually... This is satellite telemetry, it's not rocket control units. I actually don't know where there's another cargo rocket section, a uh, cargo landing pad with that name. That's also satellite telemetry. Yeah. 
You can't see names of landing pads like train station names on the map? Unfortunately, no, not that I not that I'm aware of. It wasn't this one. Okay. Deconstruction planner. Argo. Landing pad. Will it highlight the ones that are not... That are in the fog of war? No, it will not. Um... It's not up here, is it? Maybe it's just not been named on the map, and I put two of them here for some reason. It would be one of the unnamed ones. Is this it? No? It is specifically aimed at Nalvis Orbit, right? Yeah, it's not like any landing pad with name. And we don't have any landing pads over oh. What about here? That's... I found it. I think we accidentally copied this one here. Okay. Well. That should probably... No, I actually set the filters for this one. Did I forget that we had... Rocket control units up here, or... Did we need them in high volume for something? Well, whatever the case, uh, that will actually eventually <laughs> sort itself out. Um, it'll take quite a while to get these cargo rocket sections back to... Uh, back to the mall here. That might explain how we ended up with so many before. Um, but also we've got a spare rocket control unit Argo landing pad up here. I might just... Yeah. I might just change this back. I really don't... Well, let's check something real quick. Um, where would we be using... Oh, it's here, isn't it? No, nope, that's satellite telemetry. Where do we even consume rocket control units from? Over here. I think I'll just get rid of it. So we're going to make this fish, just to show that it's not in use. Blacklist fish for that one. Now this orbit landing pad, and copy the station name, fish provider. Okay. That'll sort itself out. And this one already seems fine. Fantastic. Now, what were we... I don't mean to get in the rocket. There we go. What were we about to do? Oh, the binary thing. Okay. Uh, let's do that. So. Um, when you have a number on a digital computer, let's say it's the number 5, um, it's represented by bits that are on or off, in which case, in, in this case, if this bit is worth 1, you missed one side with the fish upper right side, uh, let's have a look, over here, yes I did, thank you. Okay, so this is worth 1, this is worth 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. 
If we want to represent the number 5, we would go 1 plus 4. Uh, if we want 7, it would be 4 plus 2 plus 1. Let's say 17. Uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 plus 1. So that's binary. That versus normal numbers because few people understand binary. Uh, sure, we'll get there. Uh, so, if we want to store a bunch of bits with a number on a constant combinator, let's say we've got a digital display, um, we've got a bunch of wires connecting all of these. So I'll do that. Uh, and we've got some signals coming into them, and we want it to show like a zero, uh, zero through nine. Um, we might set these uh, lights to be A greater than zero, B greater than zero, C greater than zero, and so on. Uh, and what we can do is store whether A should be on or off for numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in just the letter A. And how we can do that is uh, depending on how many bits we shift the, the, the whatever number we come up with we're going to literally shift this stuff uh, to the left or right. This isn't a great illustration, I think. Um, we'll do a little circuit. Let's see, arithmetic combinators. Uh, the bit shifting operator is this one. And we're just going to say A, bit shift, some number, output, I don't know, green light. And then we're just going to check if the last bit is on or off. So that's the bit that is worth one. And to do that, all we're going to do is get the remainder of divided by 2. Um, and then... Yeah, that should just be on or off. I guess this sort of makes more sense. We'll bit shift A, output it as A, and then remainder of... Whether or not an A is an odd number, we're going to output a green signal. Um, and I think instead of just playing with this number, we'll do this a few times. Actually, I'll change this to a variable. We'll change it to B for bit shift. So this is going to go here, it's going to go here, I think. Use colors, anything greater than zero. And then... Actually, we're going to go like zero, one, two, three... Okay, that might be what I'm trying to do. So we're going to connect a constant combinator to all of these, and we're going to put a number in for A. A equals 1, fantastic. A equals 2 is not working the way I had in mind. Probably because I accidentally... Okay, maybe not. Oh, try a bit shifting to the right instead. I 
I think that's it. Okay, so A equals, let's just do A1 here, and I'll make a few more of them. A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Cool. Now, if we were to uh, bit shift all of this one to the left, we quite literally move these bits over one to the left. So... I'm just going to change these constants over here. Uh, we'll bit shift it one less to the right. So negative one, negative two, negative three. That's. I don't think that works the way I thought it did. Maybe we can't bit shift negative numbers. Uh, two, three, and four. Um, what if I hit shift A before that? A bit shift one to the left. Now put A. There we go. So this is seven, uh, which is... Let's reset this. One plus two plus three. I mean, sorry, one plus two plus four is seven. Let's make it like... Uh, five. So we're going to bit shift 5 by 1 to the left. It goes to the left. Bit shift by 1 more to the left. Goes to the left again. And just by doing this, it gives us the opportunity to store... Uh, let's say we've got 10 of these, actually. Seems like a good idea to just copy that. So this will be five, six, seven, hold on, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'll bit shift this by zero for now. So let's say, um, We're going to want for zero, the top left light is going to be off. For one, uh, I think that'll be off. Uh, two, it'll be on. Three, it'll be on, and so on. We can actually have, just by storing a single number here, Uh, we can have a bunch of ones and zeros for is this light on or off. And the way bit shifting is used apart from storing that information in a very dense way. Um, what's a good... 496 is obviously not... A good example. Uh, 3997. Sure. Uh, the way bit shifting is used when uh, when people use it in. Where's a good example? Uh, in digital displays like this, is after after you do the math of breaking down the input and figuring out the number for this digit, the number for this digit, and so on. Uh, basically, we are bit shifting um, 
we're bit shifting in this case to the right an arbitrary amount based on uh, which number this is supposed to be. And then again, we get the... Uh, what is this called again? Modulus? It just means the remainder of dividing. Uh, the remainder of divide by 2 tells us if it's an odd number or an even number, which tells us whether this bit here is on or off. So by literally shifting these bits to the left or right, uh, let's say we're, let's say we're checking if the light is on or off for number 9. We literally shift this 9 to the right, and then if that was off, this will be off. Um, and that's basically how that works. Clear as mud? There is a good tutorial on it. Um, pretty good tutorial, I think. Uh, it takes a little bit to get your head around, but that's... Once, once you understand that these lights here, these bits literally shift left and right, to change the number that we're looking at, and then we just check if one bit in particular is on or off. Uh, you can see how we can we can store a lot of information about which lights are supposed to be on or off for which numbers. So all of these uh, letters correspond to one of these lights in particular. And it's a series of on and off, depending on the digit. So this one up here is A, uh, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. And... Uh, once you've got that part figured out, it's all just taking the input number, divide by 10, remainder 10, divide by 10, remainder 10, so that you can break down uh, which digit is which number at the moment. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't know how uh, how clearly one can explain uh, bit shifting. What the? How? This isn't one of those multi-loader stations. This thing just had steel in it for some reason. Uh, I'll send it to its destination because it'll have filter inserters to make sure it doesn't pick up the steel, and then that'll go back to the depot, and it'll get emptied. Okay. What else are we doing? Let's check on Moors real quick. I mean, I keep saying Moors, it's actually Rose. Uh, while we wait for that. There's a Bider nest up there. That's just rude. I should have realized as well, um, we really need to get over there to try and sort this out, because every moment that we don't, or every little while that we don't, uh, another Biter media is getting sent down to this planet. Which is not making things any easier as far as clearing them out goes. Okay, back to the rocket then. We're finally loading something other than refineries. Uh, how many gates do we have? Zero. Fantastic. I might just not uh, with the gates. Let's bump this up to 2k. Drop the gates. And hopefully we can load the rest quite soon. Let's check on our new... 
Varis. Once again, we're bottlenecked on fuel. Um, what about the stuff that we're loading here to send over there? Plenty of refineries, plenty of pump jacks. What are we still trying to load? Nothing, actually. Okay. Launch when signal... Launch on green signal when fuel full. It is sending the green signal. It's actually asking for more cargo rocket sections already, so I don't even have to do anything. Except remember to turn this off after the uh, rocket has launched. Fantastic. Uh, what about over here? We're trying to load gun turrets. We don't have any gun turrets. Are we just not making gun turrets here? I think that's probably it. Gun turret. Uh, let's say... 500. Laser turret. Flame turret. We could perhaps get them a bit quicker. If we get them delivered from elsewhere, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we're not even making them yet. Thank you for the follow, Majeski. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, gun turret. That's probably a bit much. And turret. Thank you for the follow, Tasman. Uh, Tasman Devil. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Sifa Cat. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Welcome, raiders. I'm afraid my bot is broken at the moment, so I can't uh, use that to do a shout out, but. You should definitely check out Seifer Cat, especially if you like terrifying sushi spaghetti. Well, is it spaghetti? It's some kind of horror, anyway. The West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Robbed his chat of the experience of the runaway song. Uh, maybe I'll do the same sounds a bit scary. Do we have a train picking up spike steel walls? Okay. I'm pretty sure we've got lots of laser turrets, gun turrets. Are we not making gun turrets here? I don't think we are. And flame turret... Actually, maybe we are making them here? We've got some hundreds. Uh, what about this? 900 in storage? Did I just miss it? Uh, this is one of the problems of the traditional mall. Or at least bot mall. No, apparently we just had that many gun turrets and flame turrets lying around, even though we don't produce them here. That's a little bit surprising. This mall is lovely. Uh, thank you. Which one? The basic robot one? Or the one with the auto crafter? This one's turned into a little bit of a mess. But I do like the auto crafter. Speaking of which, we're making gun turrets now. That's good. 
I'm doing bobs and angels on ribbon maze. It's forcing me to build differently. That would definitely do it. It's the song of Brave Sir Robin. Oh no. The robot one. Uh, it, 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 This is a ro robot one. Bad news, the sushi belt is ended today, but looking at a ribbon maze. So you got there. Uh, I was actually quite surprised at how relatively good the throughput was with that uh, sushi build. I introduced a new community to the cube rule, and chat rebelled. The cube rule. It's not a movie reference, right? Okay, so we are making turrets on two fronts. How many are we looking for? Another 300 of each still. No, it's a website. Oh, that one. As in time cube? Duck cube rule. And you will find it. Okay. I'm too scared. Um, that's the wrong planet. Let's check on Rose again. And continue. Oh no. I put the spider on top of the cargo rocket silo and now I can't select it. We'd better get over there in a hurry. Uh, what do we got? We still need like 270 gun turrets. Um, how many do we have over here? More than enough. And more than enough flamethrower turrets. Did I set the quest over here. I definitely did. Encoded network ID 2. Did I break something with that? Nope. We're good. That should be it. Fantastic. There are always those people who refuse to accept scientific food classifications. 100% safe for work. Aha. Uh -huh. Time cube is good times. Once a year or so I try to read it hoping to understand anything. It's just too advanced. Okay. There goes our stuff. And we're bottlenecked only on this one stack inserter. Pizza is a type of toast unless it is a whole deep dish pizza. Then it is a type of quiche. A slice of deep dish pizza is a taco. And two pieces of deep dish pizza on top of each other is a type of cake. I think most people would take issue with some of that on multiple levels. Possibly too many to count. <laughs> okay. Amanda Kazai. Uh, Lazaric. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we just about done loading this? Not even. Can we get going after that? Uh, pretty much. We should already have the umbrella. Yes. And 12 of those and some ammo. Media point defense. I don't see ammo. 
Why is there no media point defense ammo here? Oh, did we already load it? Nope, not even. Uh, are we not making it? I really need to get these properly organized. We are trying to make media point defense ammo. But there's a lot to catch up with right now. Oh, I should probably put a wide area beacon here. That would definitely help. Yeah, we're not bottlenecked on the bots or inserters for some things. Uh, so, wide area beacon... I haven't quite left myself a place where I can fit all of these under one beacon. Um, would it be okay if we just did most of them? All but two, as a matter of fact? I could... Uh, it's going to be awkward, but I could put it here if I move the uh, combinators around a bit. Okay. Commence spaghettification. Let's see. It needs to go here at the latest. So we're going to move these four tiles over. That's not going to be quite enough, I think. Can I move that one somewhere? How about this? Beautiful. And now those guys are suffering from beacon sickness. Okay. Isn't that just the neatest of all layouts? Have fun with the building. I'm going to lay down. Take care, Lazarek. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you feel better. Now you need to mirror it on the other side of the beacon so it's symmetrical. Uh, I'm going to just pretend we didn't see that. It's fine. Oh look, yellow signs. Isn't that nice? Because you can't classify food scientifically because it's subjective. Wait, what are we talking about? Like the taste or something? Or the definitions? How come you're making personal roboports? What are they used for? Uh, they go into spiders. Although I don't understand why we're making them now. Um, we should have... Let me check. Personal roboport. We're aiming for 200, I imagine. Yeah, 200. We're almost there. Um, probably this was switched off for a while or something. It's subjective, it's not repli uh, replicatable, it can't be measured. Can the, can the cakeness of a pizza not be measured? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's the cube cult, not the cube rule. <laughs> okay. Um, I would prefer if we were making the things we need right now, though. Which is actually just ammo. Uh, media defense installation ammo. So can we maybe stop with, let's say, this stuff for the moment? Maybe I should implement the prerequisite 
uh, system. This is going to tick over in about 10 seconds. We've still got a bunch of erudite here. Oh, that's right. I was waiting so long for this request a chest. Um, but I didn't actually set it before. You can argue against the cube rule all you want. A Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is kind of fast. Our media defense installations. Uh, ammo, rather. And we just want a hundred. Um, so we can get everything set up under the cover of the defenses. Oh, that's right. I need to get there in a hurry because I can't select this spider right now. Pro tip, never move your spiders that you don't have a remote for in front of a big building like this cargo rocket silo. Oh, we've already got the umbrella as well. We didn't actually need that. Let's uh, remove it for now. And that was quick. Alright. Did we just stop making the ammo again? What, how much have we got? We've got 20. You know what? That'll do. Let's, let's get going. And we're taking more spiders with us. Fantastic. Actually, the other thing we could take is as many rockets as we can still fit. Uh, so... I'll just put that here for now. Um, how full is this? We've got more than a hundred stacks. Let's go... Rocket... 20,000? Freedom units? That's why Probe crashed into a Mars. T-Hex, I walked 17 kilometers earlier today. My feet are dead. Well done. Uh, what were you work walking 17 kilometers for? Why aren't you pretty much always researching swarm science so this area is safer? It doesn't actually prevent the bots from crashing. It only stops them from dealing damage to things when they crash. But we could do another one, sure. Uh, yeah, if you read the description, logistic bots won't damage things when they crash. If they're in a logistic network with up to 500 active bots per researched level. Just the damage, yeah, unfortunate. Just for fun, I went to visit two old coal tailing hills. Coal tailing hills. That's what my feet got used to by working as a machine operator for nine years. Now that I'm sitting at a desk in an office, I start to miss general movement of like 30,000 steps on average workday. That's a lot. Do they do enough damage to destroy anything? Not really. Uh, not in one go, anyway. Otherwise that seems kind of pointless if you just fix it with a construction bot. I mean, it still takes the resources for the repair pack, it takes the energy and time of the construction bot. Um, okay. Almost done here. Sectian, 
Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, 20,000. We're done loading rockets. And I think we might actually... Wait, why are we... What? Oh, we've only got nine to go. Excellent. I think we can actually wait for that. After coal mining is done, there's some waste. It's called coal tailings or slug or waste. And it used to just be piled up to form artificial hills. Lovely. All right. We're done. Let's go. And let's make sure we actually set this to the right target. Uh, not moors, but rather rows. Uh, rose landing pad. I'll just double check that it's empty. It is. Okay, we've got chests, belts, inserters, pipes, storage tanks, pylons, bots. Uh, not logistic bots, but I carry 50 of those anyway. Lots of nuclear stuff, cargo landing pad, cargo rocket silo. I guess it's fine to have a spare. Better solar panels, regular solar panels, roboports, way too many coal mining drills. Uh, actually, no, that's good. Refineries, cargo rocket sections, repair packs, spiked steel walls, turrets, 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 radars, media defense, rockets, and media defense installation ammo. I'm sure we haven't forgotten anything, it's fine. I want to polish up on my English while well, I think your English is Polish enough. Yes. We finally made it. And the first thing I'm going to do is move this spider. So we can give it some orders. That's the wrong one. There we go. We'll get this one to follow this one. While I'm on this planet, number three can be this one. We'll place our construction spiders. How many do I have? A lot. Uh, this can be number one. Update that to Instructatron. Requests. Change this to white for the leader and yellow for the others. And... Uh, what else? Give some rockets to our military spiders. Don't auto trash them. Uh, let's move them over here a bit. Rockets. Go burr. We'll get one of these construction spiders to act as a medic for this group. Change up their loadout a little bit. Um, in fact, copy paste this. Um, wait, what? Did we not have portable RTG? Oh, we've got the better portable RTG. That's why. Okay, we'll just change this manually. Uh, one, two, three... Oh, this is... These guys don't even have good shields. Yeah, they've got way too much laser. 
considering the size of the group. Um, okay, so these will be shields, one Roboport, and do we actually need... These could add up to a thousand, but we've got batteries. Uh, how many legs did I bring? Only 20, so we can't change too many of them. How many spiders do we have here? Like 23 or something? Uh, I think we'll just... Leave this as it is. Give this one some lasers. I've only brought another 15 adaptive armors with me, so I can't swap these all out, really. The leader has lots of shielding, no weapons. And the rest have three lasers, three shields. That's not that bad. Okay. Change the color of this one to, let's say, darkish red. Uh, please follow military spider. Uh, request robots. Um, repair packs. And I think that's it, actually. Oh, also, I want them to all request missiles. 800. And I'll do that for one of the green ones as well. Um, we should probably get... I'm surprised we have, like... Oh, 46 logistic bots, actually. That's good. Okay. We've probably still got a lot of missiles here. Um... What else? They've all got a decent amount of rockets for the moment, anyway. But uh, wouldn't hurt to speed it up. Rockets go for fantastic. Whoops. Okay, let's get them to absolutely roll over these small biter bases. I'll just send them directly to all the ones I can see. I'm sure they'll discover a few on the way. And they're small enough with missiles that we can just run directly into them. We might even have enough to clear the whole planet in one go, depending on how many uh, biter nests there are, which there's probably too many. Okay, that's probably a bit much for one trip. Let's bring them back. Uh, we need some construction bots in this network. We need a little something to get construction bots into the network automatically. Filter inserter goes here, actually. Let's put down a pylon. 
next to here. Read robot statistics. Available bots as bots. Set filters blacklist. And it'll just add those bots as needed. Usually chlorophyll. Are you talking about something that I'm going to have to moderate? Not sure if T-Hex is using the same one, part of the SpaceX mod. By default, is this the bot attrition mod? Yep. Okay. About plants making up oxygen. Uh -huh. All right, are we good? Let's get a recycling facility. Looks like all of this stuff is in place. Uh, we might even have. This is set to default. It needs to be set to rows. DC chest. I think that was the only one, so it's been removed. Rose, DC, chest. And if I remember correctly, this should already be sending stuff to Rose. Fantastic. Thank you for the follow. Very wizard. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so. Miner. I need to get these spiders following leader. As long as they're going to be here. One. Two. Three. I should probably make some rockets here. What does it take to make rockets? Iron plate, explosives, and green circuits? That's exactly right. We've actually got all of those things here already. Um, I can just... Take iron plate and explosives from here. Oh, I know. Why don't I do a... Hang on. There's six things in here. That doesn't work. I, w I was about to use a passive provider chest. And just set the uh, blacklist on a filter inserter. So that it would pick up just a little bit of each resource and put it in the chest to make it available to the logistic network. But because there's more than five things in here, uh, we're going to run out of room in the filters. And it's just going to pick up an inf infinite amount of one resource. So it's not going to be that easy. Uh, let's get the rest of these to play follow the leader. Almost there already. And... There we go. Fantastic. Uh, I think the construction spiders already have all of the appropriate requests set up. So we'll get them to start building the wall. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of left the pump jacks outside of the wall. Um, but we could probably just... We could probably just run off that. The wall that we're building is just going to be a backup for when the first and second line of defenses fail. 
So there'll be plenty of time to uh, fill all of these storage tanks with light oil. Why aren't they carrying pipes and stuff? Uh, constructor drone. Constructor drone. Copy, paste. Send them back here. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bio photosynthesis with a magnet board. The last time spider attack here, they just destroy the middle part. Um, pretty much. They sort of dug straight through up here. And I think they killed a few construction spiders when they finally ran out of ammo. Unfortunate. Okay, we've got our core mining drill. Why is it... What? Rate calculator says... This core mining drill will do nothing. I think it might be that bug. So it's just as well we came here physically. Uh, quite a while ago on the planet where we're getting... Barrel core fragments. Uh, we found that the bots replacing destroyed stuff put in some effectively fake core mining drills. Uh, I don't know why the delivery cannons have been removed here. Uh, let's see. Core fragment Vitima Lunch. And it needs to go... To here somewhere. Here we are. Okay, so this is Navis DC Rail Receiver number one. I think this is still. Oh, this got destroyed as well. Okay. Navis DC Rail Receiver number one. Fantastic. Switch that on, copy it to there. And I just realized I probably shouldn't be producing this pollution until we secure our defenses. Also, are they not in the robot network? I think they weren't. Can we also set up a requester chest for this ammo? Fantastic. Uh, how's our power? Actually quite good. We're still going to upgrade a bunch of these flat solar panels. How many did we bring? Only a hundred and... Oh, the spiders have some as well. Okay. I think the spiders should be able to start building the wall now. Hope. Do they have a request for... the actual literal walls themselves? I don't think they do. Um, I'll just pick some of those up myself. If I can find them. There we go. And I think we skipped on building, bringing the gates because, um, because we were in a little bit of a hurry. But uh, just walls alone should be fine. It's just the basic version of this wall. Oh, if we connect uh, these robo networks right here, 
we should get the entire wall to be self-building. That's already set up, it just needs a uh, power connection. We're not power managing this, no good. Fantastic. Okay, let's get our construction spiders to build what they can. I'm sure they'll run out of stuff well before they get over there. Send them back to where the storage is, actually. And then we're going to need some radars. Well... If we clear out the entire planet, we won't need any radars, but uh, that might take a minute. Yeah, I think I'll set up a chain to make rockets locally. Uh, with the stuff that we're already receiving from the delivery cannons. Whoops. Well, they'll get stuck there anyway. Rocket crash? Rocket crash? Where? A cargo rocket has sustained damage in transit. Location Nalvis Orbit. Uh, it is in range of the robo networks that we have to deal with this. Except for this part. That's suboptimal. Uh, what if we put a robo pod here? We'll get the construction spiders to pay them a visit. Okay. All right then. Which rocket was it? Uh, what's it full of? Coal. So that was yet another launch just from Nalvis or uh, just from Nalvis to Nalvis orbit that crashed. We're getting this improbable event happening quite often, it seems. Okay. I need to go place what walls I can. And how is our artillery doing? Uh, this one is auto-targeting rows. It's just taking its time. With the... Probably the girders? They're probably still the main bottleneck. Actually, let's see. Yeah, every time I check on here, ir Iridite isn't blowing. We've got 17,000 girders here, though. That's all, that's more than two train loads. So, actually, we seem to be doing very well with Iridite. Now we're getting a lot of rocket crash of Nakwite. Maybe because the frequency is too high? Well, yeah, we are launching a lot of rockets now, but uh, let's see. The whole rocket here, for example... Cargo safety, 99.85%. Landing chance, 99.75%. Literally a quarter of a percent chance. Uh, I feel like we've seen it a little bit often. But maybe we really have launched that many rockets. Oh, we need to make uh, something here for the corner. 
So that's sort of going to be covered already. Oh, it actually is. There's just a tiny little gap. Okay. How about this then? And we've already got lasers. We'll add some... Uh, we need to put the gun turrets where the logistics can reach them. I guess here is fine. And that's going to be our corner. And up here as well. Once more with feeling. And there we go. Oh wow, this is getting built faster than I thought. Uh... Seems like the construction spiders were carrying more of certain things than I expected. So now we've got the entire the entire thing set to auto build the rest of itself. Fantastic. I hope we brought enough of everything. Also, we need to replace uh Gates. Can we not replace gates with walls? It seems like we can't do that. Okay. I might turn off my robot for this part. back on. I like that the robot coverage is a big G. <laughs> I guess it is. The bots will go directly across here, which is fine. Okay, RoboPot off. Jetpack on and off so we don't have any momentum to the left and right. And. Brr. And over here. Fantastic. One more. Okay, I'll leave the rest up to the robot network. So what are we missing here? We may have underestimated how much pipe we need. I don't care about the solar panels and accumulators, there's plenty of power. Um, yeah, it's really just pipe. I'm guessing we forgot to pack that? No, we definitely brought a lot of pipe. Just nowhere near enough. Let's see. Tal Ghost. We need another 721 pipe and 137 underground. Fortunately, we have iron plate here. Um, there's actually only one tile that we can use to take this stuff. Is Okay, I know what to do. Uh, we're going to 
set filters whitelist and then multiply what's in this chest by a negative number. Oh, I think we need a constant combinator as well. This is a bit spaghetti, but what are you going to do? Okay, so... Set filters whitelist. Uh, iron plate. And then multiply this by negative one. And we can set the amount of iron plate we want. Cool. We could even use a stack filter inserter as long as we don't mind it picking up only one item at a time. Uh, so, copper plate. Explosives. Uh, I don't think we need the heat shielding LDS or sulfuric acid barrels, probably. And then we want to make rockets, but what was the other thing we need? The thing that reminded me to do this. Oh, right, we need pipe. Okay. Request... Use a buffer. Uh, pipe. Underground pipe. Uh, this one doesn't need the iron plate, actually. And underground pipe goes here. Okay, so that should get our pipe done. Pipe less than a hundred. Underground pipe less than a hundred. Uh, we also want... This is in the way now, I should shift it. Uh, we also want rockets. to here, provide it here, that tells me we've already run out, okay, and we'll stop when there's, honestly, like 9,000 rockets. SE panel is bigger than OG. That'd be a cheeky way to get iron. Now I gotta replace 120,000 solar panels with SE panels. Yeah, that's fun. Although the regular panels do upgrade into the tier one flat solar panels. You have an iron patch in the wall. I am aware of that one. Um, of course, we have to smelt it first. And move this stuff out of the way and stuff. Uh, currently, we're trying to secure... Uh, what has effectively become enemy territory. So... Uh, we're doing that first. Also, we could be getting a lot more Vita Melange. 7.8 per second just from this one, though. That's pretty good. These could definitely be stack inserters. Yeah, but FPS. Squeeze your robot harder. Wait, what? 
already have 20k points. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. I need to upgrade some of these. We don't actually have the whole meme accumulators here for the moment. So I'll just upgrade the flat solar panels around here. else are we doing? Our military spiders still have some rockets left. Actually, some of them have quite a lot, but a lot of them have almost none. The one at the front has some left, so that's still doing pretty well. I'll just get them to remove that nest over there. And then back to base, I think. Did I... Oh, accumulator got low, that's why. That's why we've stopped core mining for the moment. Fantastic. Alright, let's inspect our wall. Um, we don't have any ammo. Probably should have thought of that. Yeah, it might have been a good idea. Uh, if we're going to bother to bring gun turrets to bring ammo. But maybe we can make some. Obviously we could make the worst ammo, which is absolutely useless at this point. Uranium ammo is a bit of a problem. Piercing rounds I think are pretty useless as well. Uh, uranium... Uranium rounds late in the game are actually still really, really good. The only trouble is the short range and the very, very low health of the gun turrets. Um, but unless we bring that here, it's not going to be very helpful. Uh, we could send Uranium-238, honestly. I would have to go and add another cannon to get that to happen. In hindsight, I wish I had set delivery cannon capsules to be something that we put into the rail network. Um, that would have reduced the number of things we need to have in the train drop off here by three. Well, not three, because we are sending it. Okay, we're sending explosives, heat shielding, and LDS. And copper plate. So actually, that's a complete lie. All, all four of these things we're sending by cannon anyway. But even so, under certain circumstances, it would be kind of a quality of life thing. Uh, anyway, besides the gun turrets... Oh, we need to connect the flamethrower turrets. And we need to do that soon. Light oil is best for this. That's good. Oh, we'll put a pump here, I think. And... Some pipe. Don't need this part. Fantastic. Uh, we do have laser coverage all the way around, though. 
So with the kind of small attacks that fighters are likely to send on this planet, we should already be doing pretty well. Turret, you need to transport ammo, indeed. I could do a one-off where we send uh, ammo here. Where's our space capsule? Oh, we just didn't set it up to be put in here. Okay, rocket section less than 100. Why is it taking so long to get a blue inserter? Possibly because we don't have any? Don't tell me that there's inserters missing. Oh. Didn't we bring, like, a lot of inserters? I guess it was a lot overall, but not blue inserters specifically. Um, yeah, it was like a hundred. Which one? This one. One hundred of each type. That's not going to cut it. So how many uh, blue inserters are we missing right now? Uh, about a hundred, perhaps? Let's just make sure nothing's in the fog of war. About a hundred. We could probably handcraft that, honestly. Yeah, we've already got everything we need. And even if we don't, we're receiving it by a cannon as well. Bots are taking them. Oh, also... Our construction spiders are stealing them. That might not help. Let's put a limit on this. Only one space capsule, please. Fantastic. And... Why are you aimed at Rose Orbit, though? We need to go to the Nauvus Mall. That's going to take a little bit of time to refuel. Uh, okay. How much media defense ammo do we have? We need more iron plate here. And there it is, actually. Cool. Yeah, we need a significant amount more iron plate. Um, I'll get the spiders to place what they can. Kind of want them outside of the robot network after that. So that we can uh, send all of the fast inserters to where they need. We don't even have the ammo. What am I saying? It doesn't matter if those fast inserters don't get built. Oh, 
On the other hand, we could always have some ammo delivered. It's probably a good idea. Um, shove that in there. Alright, there goes our pipe, more importantly. Since the flamethrower turrets are the real heavy hitters. Still a bit of a security blanket to have some uranium ammo over there. Now then. Uh, I'm still waiting on this pipe. Okay, I think I might have to force the issue because... That really needs to happen now-ish. Uh, let's just make this a steel chest. Um, might be better if I just handcraft some regular pipe, actually. Take a few more pipe to ground. Fantastic. Also, this one. So we should see light oil finding its way all the way around. And the rest we can leave to automation. Oh, it lost its settings. Uh, pipe. Underground pipe. Also check if the other sides get oil. Yes, but that's going to take a little while. Um, for example, this... Even if this goes all the way back, we're not going to see oil in this container for... Oh. Hello. Almost missed that. How should we connect this? Like so. Uh, actually, let's copy-paste this part. That's what I meant. Fair enough. Delete those two. Delete those two. And last but not least. Okay. We could make a nuclear plant, but now it's going to be a bit hard to defend. Actually, let me reconsider that. Can we put it far enough away that the biters can't touch it, but also have the roboport able to reach it? I think so. And also, nuclear plants don't actually generate pollution, right? Hopefully you won't get backed up on petroleum by using light oil. It will take some time for that oil to fill out, but... Uh, we're also, we're also consuming the petroleum. Oh, hold on. Temporary stop on using light oil for rocket fuel. Uh, and we're also going to temporarily, oh, we're already not cracking to petroleum, so that works. Okay. Let's go fishing. And 
go over here. Alright, so if we put our reactor about here. Technically, spitters could attack it, but I th think this doesn't actually produce pollution. And they'll target something else. Steam generator produces no pollution. Heat exchanger, no pollution. Nuclear plant, no pollution. All of the pollution is coming from somewhere else. And even in the worst case, they're only going to be able to snipe a little bit of it. I could maybe do it this way. No, not really. Hmm. I think we'll just add a little bit more landfill over here so that the robopots can reach across. Uh, I just realized, though, we're going to have to supply um, uranium fuel cells, or at least the stuff to make them. On the plus side, if we do that, uh, we're also going to have... I think everything we need to make uranium rounds. Copper, steel, iron plate, and uranium-238. If we set this up. We could also... We could actually put the... If we wanted to, we could actually have this delivery cannon chest... Uh like, in the middle of the ocean with the, um, with the nuclear plant. But if we're going to make the ammo, we need that logistic connection anyway. Okay. So... Maybe about here? Away goes the landfill. We're committed now. Oh, I just realized we don't have the landfill. <laughs> we need like 6,000. Yeah, that's one of those easy to forget things. Uh, I'm sure we have a stone mine. There's 356,000 here. We could easily just set this up. This is going to give us 48,000, not counting productivity modules. Like so. Actually, I wonder if we can do it this way. Not quite. Close enough. Okay, landfill. Actually, what do I care about productivity here? It's not like we're going to bleed this mi uh, the stone dry anyway. And then output. No, well, let's do a passive provider. Landfill goes here. Could even put in speed modules, actually. That's more like it. Okay. So that will eventually give us the landfill that we need. Actually, to be more precise, uh, this will eventually give us the landfill that we need.
more than enough, actually. How's our bit of melange starting to look? It must... It, it's surely going to take quite a while uh, to catch up with where we want it to be. But even with it, just this one ore miner, uh, we actually had Vita Melange completely saturated earlier. Best use of personal roboports is fishing? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna leave some construction spiders behind. Uh, I should make sure they request rockets. I think they do already. Yeah, they do. Um... Let's get our military spiders back into it. The faster we clear them, the less they expand, the less we have to do overall. And also the less the pile drivers have to uh, have to do back on Nalvis, which means more iridite. We, when the production calls you and asks if you can book material over to them from your warehouse, as they have had taken it, but it was from a non-processed delivery. Bureaucracy. Uh... Let's go over here as well. Enemy bases don't expand faster with more bases? Are we sure? We need to clear them out anyway. Um, that's probably enough for one trip. We'll get them to come back... Well, I'll get him to take the scenic route back. Pretty sure they have enough rockets for this. And back up here. The pile driver reason is pretty good, absolutely. Although we aren't doing much, much better with erudite now. Um, in fact, oh, never mind, we need iridium plate here as well. So we are still struggling a bit on erudite. How's our erudite core fragments looking? Empty, empty, 2.8k doesn't look like quite enough for a train load. Um, let's just double check that our, our new mine is working. Oh, we are so bottlenecked on rocket fuel over here. Okay. Okay, it's time to... Give some more attention back to Varus. Um, did we launch this already? I think we probably did. Let's check. And I need to cancel the extra stuff as soon as possible. 284 uh, pump jacks. We might have actually launched it twice. Well, that's fine. Okay, switch this off. Empty all of that stuff out. And for now, we'll only be sending... Actually, let me add a tag here. Vares. Vares. 
And is this one targeted somewhere specific? Yes. Now there's a bit more. Fantastic. Now then. Uh, back to Varus. We need to expand our oil production. And... Probably add some pump jacks as well. Actually, I think we're making way more crude oil than we're consuming at the moment. We've still got 180 per second to spare. Um, so we can definitely do a few more of these. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze this belt through. Why don't we just expand this out as far as we can? I'm not going to run out of beacons or anything, right? I don't think our spider here is requesting regular beacons. Uh, I think for now it's going to be easier to just get the robot network to build it. Now, can we squeeze this through somehow? Possibly? Not quite. Uh, where should we go instead? Probably this way. And so on. Don't think we can get through there. How about this? bit of regular belt. That's inconvenient. And that connects back to where it was before. Is it perfect ratio? That's a lot of rocket fuel needed. Yeah, it's uh, 754,000 per trip. Perfect ratio. I want to ask, crack crude oil to heavy oil? Well, that's not cracking, but okay. Uh... Get more light oil, or crack light oil to get more light oil. Um, so what we've got here is just... I think you get the most to begin with, like in total, uh, using the light oil recipe. Uh, then we crack heavy oil to light, turn all of the light into solid fuel, and we also turn all of the petroleum into solid fuel. Uh, so this will consume it all. Um, have we actually run out of storage tanks? I thought we sent a lot of storage tanks. Apparently not. 
Hold on. I thought... I thought we requested... Zero storage tanks, actually. Crap. Can we make storage tanks on the spot? I don't think so. I don't think we have steel. Well, we have iron plate. So we should be able to. Um, let's do this. I think we need to get the spider over here. This setup looks solid to me. Thank you. Uh, technically, we don't need more storage tanks, but... I'd like to just finish the build. Now, is this connected? It is not. Now it is. And then... This becomes... Steel. Let's put a rust chest. We'll just limit it to one stack. Do it the easy way. Okay. After that, we need a... assembly machine. And... storage tanks. Fantastic. It only takes five steel per storage tank, so... Um, that should get done in relatively short order. And... This would actually be able to consume all of the... Rude oil. So we should add some objects as well. The only trouble is, uh, these pump jacks are all the way up here. Are we carrying pump jacks? We are not carrying pump jacks. Let's update the requests on Spooder. And it's our 20 pub jacks. I think we sent train stuff, didn't we? Yes, good. So I think we will do a uh, train stop here. Start with the rail. Uh, vanilla train stop should be fine. And then... Storage tanks. Bit of pipe. Wait, that's wrong. One, two. That handily connects it to our crude oil system as well. Add some pumps. And... Then. I'm not going to mind that cryonite. Okay. Now we have another vanilla train stop. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. And let's copy this. Look, 
the pumps around. That should be fine. Now we need to line up all of these. Maybe like this. The ground pipe. One off. Rip. Okay. Uh, next, these to this. We also need a train. I'm going to have to request that as well. Uh, let's see. Two locomotives and four fluid wagons. We also need some power over here. Pylon substation. Oops. Give him some speed modules. Perhaps. And I do say perhaps. Uh, okay, we're currently not mining because the uh, the cargo rocket is full, so this is really not representative of how much power we need. That said, do we have landfill? We're always forgetting landfill, but we do have some way over here. Uh, I think what we'll do is connect... how many robot pods do we have? 28. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll add a RoboPort with a pylon way over here. And then... That should be the distance. Connect like so. One more. It'll take a little while, but the bots will be able to use that landfill. And I think we can fire and forget. I think we're only fitting two more of these, no matter what we do, because of those little... Well, actually, the island isn't a problem. We could put this here. So if this goes way down here... Um, I can use snap to grid, but... I can barely see what I'm doing, because it's dark. How about this? We'll just use undo if we have to. What's that little gap? Oh, I see. I think. Yeah, there is landfill there. Okay. So we're gonna go... One, two... Oh, there's no way... There's absolutely no way we're fitting three of these here. Not even close. So, no worries about that one. We'll put this approximately... Actually, I don't... I think we're going to need another RoboPod in between them, because that just goes down the middle. Um, so that's fine, I guess. We'll just put the next one here. And... We'll need some more robot parts to extend our range out so that we can build that. This goes about here. Almost any ore. Cryonite doesn't work. What are we doing? For the steel, 
Thankfully, landfill can be made from any ore with a recycling facility. Um, that's true. Although I would prefer to use the ore for other things generally. We've got a giant stone mine here for our purposes anyway. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some power. Another pile on the substation. Right about here. Oh, that's already reaching further. Uh, those pumps are just barely not in range, though. Let's move that one a bit. And then regular pylon. Up here. This will be crude oil pickup. Let's go back to the robot network. Not gonna get stuck. Oh. Actually, if I just put a robot here for a sec, we could auto place the train, but that's no big deal. We also need to get some fuel for this train. Uh, I kind of accidentally replicated this chest in more places than we need it, but that's okay, I suppose. I think we'll just remove most of these. Do we not have passive provider chests? Uh, we do. Okay. Locomotive time. We don't have locomotives. I could have sworn we sent locomotives. No, I... I requested locomotives get brought to this block, but I didn't actually send them. Okay. What does it take to make them? Multi-cylinder engines? Green circuits? That's a problem. Uh... I guess in the short term we could just run a long pipe and use a bunch of pumps. Thank you for the follow, Extreme Slayer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pump jack over tanks isn't connected. Pump jack over tanks. Pump jack over tanks. Oh, this one. As in north of it. Uh, easy enough. Fantastic. Good catch. Thank you. Uh, do we have copper? We do. What's worse, sending another rocket just to send trains? Yeah, probably that. Especially since we've got a bot network and everything. Um, okay. We'll set up a little production chain for it over here. Uh, green circuit. Uh, gear wheel. Steel is fine. And we also need multi cylinder engines, which needs single cylinder engines. Okay. Let's put some insiders first.
Quest of chests. Isn't the train ingredients very basic? Not as basic. Um, the cargo wagon definitely is, but we need multi-cylinder engines and green circuits, which is a little bit more of a pain. Why not just robot? That's what we're doing. We will have to go and get... I don't think there's any wood on this planet. Um literally, so we'll have to go get some stone brick to turn into stone tablets. And more to the point, we're going to need um, to get some copper. I think I'll just Throw down some solar panels. But we don't have any in the spider. Hold on. Uh, maybe it would be easier. Oh, rocket goes for it. Fantastic. And our power consumption is about to go up. Just as soon as we put a hundred cargo rocket sections in here. Any item does not require red circuit and beyond, I think, is basic. Yeah, it's just enough of a nuisance, especially with the vast resources we have in general, that I'm almost tempted to just send a rocket instead. Um, okay, so... I'll check on that in a minute. I just wanted to see the power consumption. Oh, we don't have to go that far. That much further, anyway. With our power. And let's get our spider down here. Throw together some mining... Whoops. And I think... I think we'll just shove it into a chest. Or a couple of chests. And we'll have the spider deconstruct it when there's enough. EA? N yeah, it's not as basic in vanilla. I mean in SE. Okay, how much copper are we actually going to need here? It's literally like two locomotives, 20 electronic circuits, um, three copper cable times 20, not counting productivities. Uh... 60 divided by 2 is 30. So like 30 copper. Wait, shouldn't we have that from scrap already? We've got 265. Oh. Okay. That was a bit of a waste of time. Uh, let's make this copper plate and... I was going to say stone tablets. Uh, but we could probably make the stone tablets here, actually. That's outside of logistics. Okay. Can we... I don't think we're going to worry about prodding. Not this time. Locomotives and cargo wagons aren't cheap either. Yeah, they're not exactly cheap. I think I would say they're cheap for what they do. Uh, 
also it's fluid wagons that we need. But that's not much different. Well, we'll have this just in case we need some copper later on. Oh, speaking of which, I wanted to check on our power. It's actually pretty good. Even with the coal miners going. Surprisingly good, actually. So I think we can fit a... Uh, tier 2 beacon up here somewhere. We can cover everything except for that lone pump jack over there. I'll copy paste this one so we don't have to take the extra step uh, to place the modules. We've actually run out of assembly machines. That's a little bit surprising. Okay, and fast inserters as well. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, let's remove that. Assembly machine is not basic? Nope, not really. Let's just remove this for now. Uh, we've got everything but cogs. We do have cogs, actually. Fantastic. So that just leaves stone tablets for which we need stone brick. Oh, we've got stone brick, shockingly enough. Uh, that's good. Stone tablet. Fantastic. So that should be everything for green circuits, which means everything for Locomotives, once we bring the steel over. Just request this. Oh, and apparently we had some green circuits already. Whoops. Probably should have started with that. It's fine. So we're looking for 30 multi-cylinder engines. We're up to nine and a half. As for the rest, we can get rid of this for now. And I want to set up uh, the fluid wagons. Can we get an assembly machine? There we go. Fluid wagon. Uh, and storage tanks. Okay. Oh, and pipe. Fantastic. Let's put a chest here. Uh, I think we'll get two fluid wagons over here, so if we limit this to two, we'll get everything we need. Cool. Let's leave our devices to their own devices. And we should limit to one. Why is that? 
We're going to get two here and two here, right? Not that I'm too worried about... Oh. Oh, we're still waiting on this steel. That's going to take a little while. It will be extra finished in the machine. Uh, yeah, I think it... I think it stops at two. Let me just double check. I think we still have our old train thing here. Two flow wagons. Five cargo wagons. Why is that different? And two locomotives. So limiting it to two should end up with four in reality. Okay, we're missing a whole lot of stuff, but what is it? Requested chests for the gun turrets and the ammo that we don't have. Not overly concerned by that. Our spiders are still on the move. Do they have rockets? Yeah, they've actually still got quite a few rockets, although not the one at the front. Should probably have them zigzag a little bit more because the the laggards are falling behind. But it seems like they'll be okay. Especially when the spit slows down the main spider. The leader. Okay, we're fine. Is there anything else I personally am needed for? on this planet? I don't think so. So I'll leave most of my stuff behind again, because you never know what you're going to need. Sure, we'll include the bots in that. chest is actually full. Okay. Not taking any of this stuff back. We can have the radars as well. Cool. Uh, I also need to pick up these extra spiders. Then again, maybe I should just leave them here. We're manufacturing these automatically anyway. It's probably more work uh, to reclaim these spiders at this point. So that'll they'll all be carrying rockets and that'll be one more line of defense in any case. It's time to leave Rose. Uh, back to the now of a small. Fantastic. Away we go. Beautiful. Now then. Uh, we've got a trickle of steel already got enough to make the next locomotive, but not so much over here. Uh, I think we can just delete that one. Actually... Wait, what? Yeah, we've got enough of everything except for the cylinders. That puts our steel over here. That just leaves storage tanks, which are missing iron plate because this is not a requester chest. Okay. Actually, I could have just made this one a green. Cool. That's 
it's actually happening pretty quickly now. Although we've already run out of steel here. Nice. Okay. We're like a quarter of the way there. Now then. So we've got our Vitamelange and Iridite flowing. Uh, this is very good. We've secured for now. Uh, still not getting enough Iridite to make these delivery cunning capsules. Oh, yes we are, just not that many. This is still aimed at Nalvis. Well, we should probably have been getting our Nalvis military to help clear the biters a bit more often at pole time as well. Let's get him to do exactly that. We are running out of biters to attack, which is fantastic. Send them back so the shields recharge for a second. Over this way. through a couple of those little expansions. Hey, young Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wonder how our space science is doing now. I give it maybe 25% odds that we've got another lot of bioscience, or the broad data, uh, broad bioscience catalogs, broad biological catalog uh, is what we're waiting on to get our first bioscience to. I could have triggered it early by now by forcing a train delivery. Maybe I should do that. We've just had a lot of stuff to fix and improve in the meantime. We've sort of gotten ahead of ourselves uh, with the orbital base. Um, making it able to accept much higher throughput than we're able to deliver for now. Okay, let's send you back for resupply. You should spend a stream clearing all the biters. It might take that long if I just sit down and do it. Uh, we already spent all that time clearing mo uh, rows and... And then this happened. Okay. We've got our ten media defense installations in place again. It is 10, isn't it? Yep, 10. Maybe it should be 12. How much power do we have? Not that much, but that's because it's night time. Uh, I kind of need to see how empty... Oh, did I send them? Okay, we're good. I kind of need to see how empty our accumulators get here. It looks like not very. At all. Okay. 
I think we can probably afford a couple more of these. Or at least one. Now then. Uh, turn on my requests again. And here comes all the stuff. Let's check on orbit. We have still produced zero biosigns here. Still waiting on the broad catalogs to be delivered. Still have somehow 7.9 thousand. Uh, broad catalogs in these chests. I don't know how that happens. Considering, just like with the other data cards, or rather catalogs, uh, it's 8,000 for a delivery for all of these items. And it's one to one to one to one to one. I thought I remembered figuring out that it had something to do with how things ended up on the belts. Oh, yeah, that it's probably biochemical or biomechanical resistance data in, like, two of these machines. Yeah, this one has one biochemical. This one has two... Is it biomechanical? And this one's bio mechanical. And this one has biochemical resistance data. Yeah, so that's why we haven't got that yet. Uh, we need one biochemical resistance, one biochemical resistance data. Uh, what are we waiting on here? Experimental biomass again. I bet it's going to be the exact same thing. For this one. Experimental biomass. Experimental bioculture. Experimental genetic data. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, we actually haven't had much trouble making those. What's the problem here? I see experimental genetic data on the belt. Huh? Oh. Uh, no, this is correct, actually, because we had to swap the wire colors if we wanted to avoid having to do one extra um, combinator here, or two. I'm guessing there's a mistake or something I haven't thought of with this. So we've got 3.3k experimental genetic data here. Uh, 7 stacks times 24, it'll go a bit beyond 8k. For some reason... Oh. It's that, it's that easy. Or is it? Yeah, I th think it probably is. Oh, that's the problem as well. I don't know if this how necessary that part was, actually, but... I didn't notice... I must have copied something over this. Because the wire colors are different, we need to get rid of these horizontal green wire connections. Well, that's surprising. I thought it would just be running out of resources somewhere that would have stopped um, bioscience. Now, let me just double check what we have over here. Um, also, I want to set these to be... Uh, this, just to be absolutely sure. 
So this is specific as opposed to generic. Considering the other signals on these circuits, I don't want to mess with that. Um, so we're reading how much we've got for biochemical data and experimental genetic data. And if biochemical is greater than experimental, we send a we send the value of biochemical to this wire, which is going to make all of these inserters stop. So basically, I think this thing is predisposed to make more biochemical than it, uh, than this stuff, possibly. But basically, yeah. Um, or even even if it's just that we're not picking this up, uh, picking this up for a while. Uh, if there's more of this than there is of this, we're going to stop putting this in the chests. Always double check, indeed. Absolutely, check, check, and check again. All right, so that's at 5k already. Um, is that only going to be half a belt? What's the max rate here? 36. Wait, 36? Theoretically. But I don't think that last machine is going to get as much. Uh, even if it's just these three, it's more than half a belt. I think we're going to bottleneck on a half belt here. Do we have room to fix that? Wait, how much input do we have? Net rate of biochemical data is slightly negative. We get 16.32 per second, we need 18. So realistically this is going to be a bit over 30. 32 maybe, experimental genetic data per second. Um, that means we do... I think that'll do it. Uh, that means we do want to use both sides of the belt. I keep looking here for my construction spiders and it's always the scaffolding spiders instead. Let's get him to go build another block. Goes there. And where did I leave the constructors? That's right. We had to get him to pick up a uh, crashed ship. Okay. I guess we'll let the construction spiders do that for the moment. And back to the mall. Whoops. Back to the mall to drop that off. And then... Where was it? This one. If we just turn this over here... Is that going to go on the opposite side of the belt, or the close side? I think the opposite. Oh wait, this one's... these two are... Pass is one of these, nine per second. Uh, so even swapping the side for one of these should be enough. So that there'll be no belt bottleneck, actually. I don't even need to get the spiders to come over here to build this, just the ghost uh, is enough. Okay. So maybe we'll actually get Bioscience too. What's next? How is our 
coal doing? I actually see coal in these chests, but why is it... Oh, it's on this belt. Hey, we finished. Or have we? Yes. Yeah, we deliberately limited this a little bit. I forget why. But we've got no coal over here just yet. Or rather, we've been delivering it, but it hasn't caught up. Chemical gel is actually full over here. Uh, that might be because science stopped because of that error. But even if that is the case, it does mean... I think it does mean we've caught up to some extent, and the problem was lack of coal. Because there'll be, a, like, half of the production chain before that little blockage. Uh, okay, so we need more biomass here. Biomass. Uh-oh. Contaminated cosmic water. Oh, sorry, is it contaminated bio sludge actually? It looks like contaminated bio sludge doesn't have anywhere to go. Well, this one has a bit more room, but still, there must be a reason for this. Yeah, bio sludge. What's happening here? What? How? Oh. That might have something to do with it. So this train, I think, is blocking the pickup for biosludge. I'm hoping it's not that we've actually saturated biosludge everywhere and messed up. Doesn't look like it. I think it would be difficult to accidentally put too much bio sludge everywhere, but it kind of looks like we're getting close. Um, but we've sort of set it up so that we consume the recycled bio sludge as a priority. Um, I might reduce this a bit. So if we're a bit more than half full, we're going to stop making bio sludge out of biomass. And what about up here? The scrap train is not quite... I, I should just set the uh, provide stack threshold higher. It'll be more than sufficiently balanced if we wait for there to be a couple of train loads of scrap here. Same goes for this side. What train have we got coming over this way? Scrap pickup? Fantastic. I wonder why it's only getting here... Oh, I see. Wait, this one was set to, I think, 168, if not 160, provide stack threshold. But we got the limiter here. But on the other side, we didn't have the limiter. That's pretty weird. I think we will, because scrap is so high volume, uh, we'll remove the limiter and just set a high threshold to pick up. Okay. Also, normally this combinator would be over here. I'm not going to let it bother me for now. Okay. So, priority is very high. Bio sludge pickup. 
Wait a sec. So we actually need... Oh, no. We need contaminated bio-sludge to be processed so we can pick it up from here so that we can make more biomass. And to do that, we need to pick up the bio-sludge that's at the contamination processing area. Uh, but there isn't anywhere to take it right now because we've made too much. So that scenario did actually happen. Um, in that case. I, I just need to add bio sludge storage somewhere. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking probably here, honestly. And we'll add some storage for the cosmic water as well. It seems to have had a similar problem. I should also bump up the priority on these stations. Because we really, really need them to not fill up. It might do to just make another block like this as well. Probably right next to uh, the bio sludge production area. Did we set this as a low priority? We should have. Oh, I never actually set a... That's kind of embarrassing. I never actually set a... Provide threshold so that we could pick up this bio sludge here. Although currently doing that would be a problem. I think... I think I will though, and I'll just set it as a low priority. Provide threshold... 100,000. Wait, not a million. The other thing. Okay. Uh, I don't think I heard that machine working a second ago. Something's changed. I could be wrong, though. Alright, let's drop some storage tanks in here. Now, where would be a good spot so that we could also store the how many the cosmic water, some modicum of symmetry and stuff? I'm thinking we'll just that's going to connect if I'm not careful. Put this here. And... Contaminated... I mean, regular cosmic water. Uh, can go here, I think. And as unnecessary as it might be, I think I will copy this block somewhere else. That'll certainly help in the short term, and things will be a little bit future-proof as well. Okay, so that is contaminated scrap. And the other symbols on the side were just... drop-offs, actually. Okay. So we're processing that contaminated bio-sludge. Fantastic. 
Um, where do we pick up Biosludge from here? This one. I want to make sure that's low priority as well. Coded network ID 1. I do kind of remember why that's there. Priority. Negative 100. So in other words, if we can pick up bio sludge from just about anywhere else, we're going to do it first from there. Cool. Construction spiders should be able to build this block in one go. Except maybe belts. There's a lot of belt here. The fact that we've already got two trains coming... Uh, that's cosmic... Oh, it... no, it needs cosmic water to clean things. Okay, that's probably fine. Uh, let's build this rail while we're here. Uh, what? Oh, okay. This is actually the leader. I was afraid we'd somehow lost all of our scaffolding spiders for a second there. Um, but that only happens if you delete uh, scaffolding underneath them, not if you build it. So I'll get you to follow this one. Leader. Head back down here. And we'll fire and forget all of that. I think our spiders are going to get a bit stuck. Yeah, they are. I'll just tell them to go back home now. And... Military spiders are still looking strong. Let's check on Rose real quick. Um, obviously there are still spiders everywhere. But our base is looking okay. What's the pollution cloud like? Not that far, except there's a spider nest uncomfortably close to our pump jacks. Uh, why don't we do something about that? Let's just check around here as well. Seems good. These nests are just small enough, I think, um, to have the spider group just walk directly into them with rockets. I'll have them resupply after this one. I wanted to check how many rockets they've got, actually. Uh, not that many, especially compared to Nalvis, but enough for the task at hand, I think. And we are making, looks like, consistently 0.4 rockets per second. That's not too bad. We could always double it, I suppose. No, I don't think we can double it. Not without putting a beacon down. What's our power? Ridiculously good. Let's put a beacon down. How about now? Still pretty good. 
think we'll be bottlenecked on the inserters now. Not even. So we've got uh, Iridite flowing well, we've got Vul uh, Vulcanite, I'm pretty sure we've got Vulcanite. Um, I was going to say Vita Melange uh, seems to be flowing. What's happening here? Oh, this one's taking directly from this core mining drill, and these are all supposed to be switched off at night. But because the inserter is aimed directly at this tile, we're doing just a little bit of core mining at night time. It's fine as long as we don't... Uh, as long as the accumulators don't run out. But yeah, uh, Vulcanite is indeed looking good. Iridite is looking very good as well. Uh, it looks like... What's happening here? Did We did get this mine going, right? Products finished... Uh, I can't see it. Where is it? Well, in any case, we somehow disconnected all of this. How, how is it disconnected? Power, power, power. What? Oh, that's a regular pylon. I must have, like... You can swap them. Yeah, that's why. Okay. And here I thought what I was doing was, like, Click dragging just to get it to be the optimal distance. I did the same thing over here. Okay, pylon substation. Let's get our spider. Um, and let's also pick up... Oh, did you already get the... Uh, fluid wagons? Yes, you did. But we've actually only made two. What happened to our cogs? Oh, we need to... We need to put them into a... Provider? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got one locomotive. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Get the spider to fix those two. And just to double check, Pylon substation will indeed cover all of these. Cool. What other disastrous mistakes have we made? Uh, one thing I could be doing is switching on all of these uh, weapon delivery cannons. I don't understand how this is switched on auto target and pointing at blank space right now. Because as soon as it fires. Like, it'll fire at that blank space, and then as soon as it's, as soon as it fires, it'll automatically pick the next target. But as it is, I think it's just gonna waste a shot. Okay, I'm gonna copy that across all of these, and... 
Also, why do we not have weapon delivery capsules? Because we have no iridium plate. How do we always have no iridium plate when... Not this again. Let me guess, you're going to exactly the destination I was just thinking of. Fantastic. Okay. Now, provide stack threshold is 200, and this still happened. I'm not sure why. Oh, that might have something to do with it. Our uh, so-called balanced loaders are not so balanced. They're not strict enough. So we got to run away in balanced load here. Okay, that'll sort itself out. Um, I think we can also enable this thing again which is going to limit heavy girders to Iridium Plate. Basically, we're just reading from both... Uh, well, let's see. Let me just double-check how this works. Uh, Iridium Plate... Oh, that's right. Each... So we're getting the negative average of the Iridium Plate is centered over this way and then wait really heavy go oh here it is yeah 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 this is my little trick so that i didn't have to add another combinator here to have effectively a one-way wire so that we separate the green wire here for heavy girders and the green wire here for iridium plate uh, we've already got a uh, arithmetic combinator getting the negative average of each of these, and I just brought that brought those two negative averages together. So, if the negative average of the heavy girders is greater than or equal to the negative average of iridium plate, it means we've got more heavy girders? Uh, sorry, fewer heavy girders? If the average is smaller? Um, so we're enabling this when heavy girder is less than or equal to Iridium Plate, in other words. And because it's a balanced loader across here, we only have to block this one to block the entire thing. Well, what about the ingots? What about the erudite? What about the erudite core fragments being delivered by cannon? Where are they? Here they are. Oh, that's just straight erudite as well. 3.5 thousand. But I seem to be missing... Oh, here it is. 15k Iridite Core Fragments, so that's going to trigger a train load shortly. Um, meanwhile, at our new outpost, we just sent a rocket. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. So I think we are catching up with Iridite. Let's get... Oh, we have uh, weapon delivery capsules everywhere all of a sudden. Alright, let's get this one to target uh, Rose, actually. And let's start with this lot. Oh, 
auto targeting on. Wait, what? Okay, it just fired twice, but also wasn't that second one aimed at nothing? It literally was. What the hell? I guess that's just what happens when it randomly misses. Okay. I think we'll set up a couple of these to aim at Rose and a couple at... Um, Nalvis? And if we wanted all of these to fire continuously, you would actually need to improve the build a bit. Um, because the belts don't have that much throughput. Alright, meanwhile on Nalvis, let's target this chunky thing. And see it in action. I think we just missed it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, a few halves. Uh, spawn is destroyed by that. Let's target here. This time we are going to see it. Fantastic. I do wish I could just copy-paste the settings on all of these, but it's going to waste a bunch of ammo if I do. And... This one to rows. As well. How many do you think we can keep up here? Let's assume we don't run out of resources. Um, we've got a half belt of girders, which I think is the bottleneck. Eight, nine, it's actually exactly nine. Okay, we'll do four aiming at Rose, and five at Nalvis. Maybe we can be a bit greedy with this shot. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, that one just got hit. Wow. What are the odds of that? I literally picked a random spot on the map to zoom in on to pick a target, and it was exactly where... Uh, a pile driver just landed. One, two, three, four, and five. Fantastic. And uh, I just saw what happened. It targeted a biter in motion. And the next shot's just going to miss. You'd think it would target only the stationary stuff if there's, uh, if there's any left to target. But, no. Okay. So that is... Military Matters sorted out. Um, I'll still get the... How, much, how many rockets do you have? Not so many. I think we'll just wait until they're fully loaded on rockets. And I'll send the spiders on rows to go do their thing. It's going to take a while, even with the beacon here. Maybe I could actually... 
move this over a tile or two. Uh, not quite like that. How many? One electronic circuit. Okay. Let's make this a long arm. And we'll put this here. And this goes here. And hopefully that can keep up. That can easily keep up. Fantastic. That'll double our rocket production. Just as soon as we find a request a chest. I think they're all... Uh, I think they're all in the wall. Uselessly. Because we don't have the ammo. Let's just reclaim them for now. I'll reclaim the fast inserters as well. Oh, and now's a good time to check if light oil got all the way around. Uh, actually, if there's light oil here, we know the entire thing is good. And it is. Fantastic. We are... Oh, I need the spiders, actually, to... Take some landfill over here. And we'll rescue the fishies. Before we dump landfill on them. I should probably just make a path for the spiders to step across over here. We can put a spot for a roboport. Or two, I guess. Still gonna take a while to get the landfill that we're looking for. We're about 10% of the way there though. Oh, these are some fast inserters I did not mean to get rid of, though. Okay. Construction spiders. Back over here, please. And we'll put just a little bit of landfill for the spiders to step across. Put them back in the robo network. Fantastic. All right, so how's our science looking? Still the same two culprits. Still, wait, Veda Melange Spice? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had effectively infinite Veda Melange and then our one source of Vita Melange was gradually cut short. Uh, so it is going to take a while to catch up, I think. Also, I probably should have added more core mining drills while I was there. I can probably... I, I, we do have some core mining drills over here. I can probably just chain a few together. Although, we'll need to add some more upgraded solar panels. Let's make sure we get them all until those run out. 
Uh, but what's really going to... What's really going to unlock our core mining potential here is going to be the nuclear power. Did your core mining drills die or something? What happened to Vitamelange? Uh, biters happened to Vitamelange. My best guess is the 10 media defense installations after we completely cleared this planet. Oh wow, they're all the way up here. Uh, wasn't enough just once. Uh, and the biters got through. Uh, because any planet where you can call mine Vitamelange is going to have biter meteors. Uh, so yeah, checked on this one day and just found most of everything destroyed. Or at least everything but most of the solar panels. Uh, for the most part. I'm going to see how many times I can say most. But yeah. So instead of 10 media defense systems, you need 100. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking 12 would probably be overkill. We've got 11 now. But I would really rather overdo it than not. We've got some spare media defense installations here as well, I think. Actually, just one more. Um, in that case... I think we'll probably just... Move this aside. Put this over here. Uh, but yeah. So that's the main reason, I guess, we're waiting on... Uh, biochemical data. Let's get another block over here. Actually, where have we... Let's get some blocks over this way. Fantastic. Get our scaffolding spiders to drop everything they've got. How's our bio sludge now? We still haven't output this uh, contaminated bio sludge. Let's just check. 207,000. 207,000. They are all connected. Didn't we just make... Oh. Wait, no, here it is. Contaminated bio sludge. 120k. Why... Why is this not being delivered here? Constant combinator is switched on. Request threshold 100k. Negative 120k contaminated bio sludge. There's a tiny amount in here, which means we did get a delivery. So why not again? Is this it? No? Wait, do we not have... We do have a regular provide threshold here. Where was that other station? with the contaminated... Oh, it's the same one. I don't... High priority. Provide threshold 100k. It's connected to the fluid, the storage tanks. To the train stop input. 
Why are we not collecting the contaminated bio sludge? Do we not have enough fluid wagons? We clearly do. This one's idling. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, idle fluid wagons. Is the station just bugged or something? I'm going to go delete it and then put it back. Just the... Oh! That is Nutrient Bat again. I mean, that's good. We do need Nutrient Bats, but... Uh, I think we should bump the train limit up. Maybe it's because we're always picking up Nutrient Bats and we're never scheduling a train to come and pick up the fluid. Also, because it's a fluid and a stack size of five, because the loading time is so quick, I think we can go ham on like four train limit here. So maybe that's the problem because we've always got nutrient fats because nutrient fats are always demanded somewhere and because the train limit was one. We're constantly scheduling a train to pick up the vats, but not the contaminated bio sludge. I'm hoping to see this light go yellow in a few seconds. I'm pretty sure I saw no train was coming here earlier, though. Provide threshold 100k. Provide priority 100. Long trains. And contaminated bio sludge, 199,000 as an input. Oh, is this it? This is nutrient bats again. Okay. Um, I got hit by 13 meteors once? Wow. Not enough defense. Instead of 10 meteors... Oh yeah. 100 might be a little bit overkill. Uh, on the other hand, I'd rather not have my Vitamilage planet literally overrun again. It's going to take a long time to get the rockets in these spiders. T-hacks, I found IRL coal belts. They're not normal belts, they are not underground belts, they are above ground belts. And they have roof for protection and they probably transport coal from, wait for it, Australia. Photo in Discord. Okie dokie. Um, speaking of coal, I wonder how much is left here. 6.2 mil. I think we'll be okay. For at least five minutes. Uh, still no coal in this station most of the time. But this one is actually backed up, which is good. That's also a lot of fluid here. Well, mostly a lot of fluid here. Chemical gel seems to be keeping up. Okay, spiders. Move over here, please. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just delete this for a second. And put it back. We'll reconnect this. And hope that it was some weird bug that gets fixed by turning it off and on. Wait, contaminated bio sludge got picked up. I should have checked that first. Uh, okay. So what did we change? Uh, it was the train limit. I think it's because vats are in such high demand right now. And they're constantly available here. 
So that is biomass in motion again. Fantastic. We've we've got we've got seven point two train loads of nutrient vat here. Oh, this is still white, but still. Um we've got seven point two train loads of nutrient vats here. We need them here. Request priority is above normal. 1.2k, let me just check. That is one and a half train loads, so it should definitely trigger a delivery. Oh, that's, uh, that's the gel. Okay, good, it is working. Alright, cool. So that's going to be biomass coming from both of these blocks. Fantastic. I wonder... Actually, I don't wonder at all. I think it would probably be a good idea to duplicate this block again. It's not just the machine throughput, it's the... It's the trains as well. So that should help. Also, maybe I should have been... I think I probably said this before, but... Maybe I should have a decontamination facility here... To deal with the contaminated biosludge. The only trouble is uh, with that is we then have to... Deal with... Uh, contaminated scrap instead. Do we already output that though? Contaminated scrap? Yeah, we do. Where does it go? Wait. Seriously, where does the contaminated scrap go? Here it is. Okay, so... Perhaps if we were to just put... I'm gonna have to move this pipe. Perhaps if we were just to put a decontamination facility here, approximately. I forgot to ask four minutes to spaceships. Uh, four minutes and twenty seconds. West. Uh, we stopped coal mining because environment. Now we transport coal from Australia and burn it here. Yeah. Australia is, um, doing a bit of a fucky-wucky. Contaminated... Okay, biosludge decontamination. And we'll just output the... It's only one physical output, right? We can just use a... Bust inserter. And then... This is not the best location. Unless we want to make even more pipes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this this will be fine. Actually. Okay. Pipe. Can we maybe do it like this? Beautiful. Okay, so our contaminated bio sludge is gonna go in here somehow. How am I gonna do this? Oh, that's already connected. This has to get to here, and this has to get to here. Um, that's in the way.
What length do we need? Looks like 12. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, yep. And then. What's this? A 7? A 9? 10? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, there's no good number here. Let's just do this. Uh, the only trouble is, if I do this... Well, I could probably just stop this, uh, having a provide threshold. Yeah, that should be fine. Or we could set the provide threshold to, like, only when this is completely full. Because that must mean we're struggling to turn this back. 160 contaminated per second. That looks like it can keep up with the entire block very easily. Contaminated bio sludge. Negative 99.4 per second. Fantastic. Okay. Spiders, do your thing. And I think this means we should stop offering contaminated bio sludge here. Which means we could drop the provide priority because nutrient bats will get where they need to go. Um, the provide priority is because we have to get rid of a waste product. Shall we patch these ones? Fluid pipes are nice and empty for the moment. Don't waste a single drop. Okay, so we'll copy this over here. And I think that's all it takes. Terminated scrap. Terminated scrap. Fantastic. Okay. Let me just add this here. Biomass. Fantastic. Walk to most places in your city, public transport, or train if I have to go further. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, let's... Let's see our military spiders returning. With more than half their ammo. Good. Now that we've got the pile drivers going again... Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Now it's Holmium Cable. Why... why is Holmium bad? Oh. Holmium's not so bad, actually. What's our overall rate of production for Holmium? We're just getting it from Core Fragments, right? And like some other things, for the longest time, that was way more than we needed. For 
we've caught up now. How much are we making? Oh. 19 per second? Uh, I th think we should make another nuclear plant. On this planet. Do we have it here? I doubt it. We've got... Zero, actually. I would have thought we had at least a few spare... Um... Like, heat exchangers, steam turbines, whatever. But apparently I probably took it in my own inventory. I took exactly what we need to build this. So, yeah. We just get more nuclear plants, it's fine. Indeed. Yeah, we're just going to be paying uranium and a little bit of iron uh, to get more holmanite. And when you break down holmanite core fragments, you get uh, a little bit of regular core fragments anyway. Which is going to offset that cost ever so slightly. By far the best amount to power ratio. Okay, what are, what else should we do today? Um, we've pretty much sorted out a bunch of problems uh, and made some made a little bit of headway towards pushing the orbital base to the next stage. Uh, we still don't have those broad catalogs, although. You know what, I think I will get a train. I'll, I'll, I'll do a temporary stop. Well, that's not temporary, actually. Uh, wait for inactivity. And then... Wait for empty cargo. Just double check where that's going. Broad biological catalog. And broad biological catalog. Did we ever get the scrubbers? We did not. That's a little surprising. Scrubbers. Oh, I think it traced back to we need a uh, vitamelange or something. Yeah. We need vitamelange extract here. Which. I'm surprised, even though we just restarted our Vitamelage mining, I'm really surprised we haven't got, like, a single delivery of this stuff. Maybe it's sent to a rocket as a higher priority or something? Uh, let's see. Vitamelange extract. We've actually got a full rocket of this stuff. Let's see. Priority? It's just normal priority. Same as this one, I think. If anything, because the request is higher, you'd think it would treat this as a higher priority. Um, okay. Why don't we get a train to pick that up as well? Wait till inactivity... And then head over here, empty cargo, and luckily the way LTN works, uh, as soon as the train gets back to the depot and does its five seconds of inactivity, it's going to reset its schedule. When I get a few beers IRL, my UPS drops. Amazing graphics, but gameplay. Favorite nuclear comics? Oh, XKCD. Gotta love it. Fuel energy density in... Uh, I can't quite read it with the preview, but... I can see what the graph looks like. 
That's a lot. It's in mass, right? Mass to energy ratio. Wait, what? No. What? How? Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Um. The problem was I didn't name this station. And the train went to an it went to the nearest station with a similar name. Luckily, because we use filter inserters by default on drop-off stations, uh, nothing bad happened. Alright, so... What? No. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's some, uh, middle melange extract, and that's going to give us out, uh, acid. Uh, the way I've got this set up, we're kind of counting on a consistent flow from this in order to make these, and the rest is just going to go through here. I could probably do something about that, though. Let's see. I'm going to use the same trick as last time. Where, in order to avoid having to make another combinator, I'm just going to hijack this wire in particular. And we'll connect them. Uh, if we can. Oh, I know. No, never mind. Can't reach this. This thing's read only. We just remove those signals. Fantastic. Okay, we'll have to change our balanced loaders here to be specific. Scrubbers. I'll put scrubbers. And scrubbers less than or equal to average. And then... Uh, what is this called again? Vitalic Acid? And less... Acid less than or equal to average. Fantastic. So now we've got the negative average of both of these uh, resources on the same wire. So we can compare them. Uh, since they're negative, the thing that we've got less of, we've actually got more of. Yeah. Okay, so if... Uh, Metallic acid is greater than scrubber, then we'll let it through. Is this, could this reach up here actually? Yes, it could. Copy that. Remove this one. Okay. So next time we get a delivery of bitter melange extract, and we're going to start making vitalic acid here. What is going on with this? That's only a few more units, but still, let's fix it. Where did our construction spiders run off to? Oh, that's right. The great glass dropping of 2022. Uh, let's get our deconstruction spiders to come home. Can they fit the rest of this, actually? And our regular construction spiders. Up this way, please. Cool. 
Okay. Uh, so yeah, next time we get Vitamolange Extract delivered here so we can make... What are you doing? There we go. Uh, so we can make uh, Vitalic Acid. Vitalic Acid goes down here. We're not going to let the Vitalic Acid through unless... Uh, unless there's more or equal bioscrubbers to Vitalic Acid. Fantastic. Do you get ice only on asteroid belts? Uh, I think so. I think that's the only place you get it directly. Um, water ice. Uh, the way we get ice is we mine cryonite. Uh, where is it? Uh, cryonite plus sulfuric acid gives us cryonite slush, and cryonite slush plus water gives us a lot. Uh, gives us one ice. So one ice gives us a hundred water. One hundred water plus one cryonite slush gives us one ice. You can turn cryonite into ice, indeed. Um, I wonder if I should be... Well, the cryonite slush actually is a fluid. So... I haven't seen all of the production chains in orbit, obviously. I have seen one or two things where cryonite slush was an option, uh, but not required, I think. Oh, this needs fixing. That just goes there, that goes there. Let's get our spiders on the scene. Cooling fluid advanced recipe. Yeah, I think that might have been it. That's why I was looking back here. Uh, well, for, for thermofluid, we can use cryonite rods, but that's not slush. Saved me an outpost on the second belt. Thank you. No worries. Okay. Um, so everything is... Hello. That's a lot of iridite. Why isn't it being picked up? Provide stack... This should be six. Actually, it's fine. Either way. Provide stack threshold 168. So 7 times 24 uh, is 168. What is this button I accidentally pressed? Oh, that's the navsat. Okay. Now, why would... Why would Erudite not be getting picked up right now? It is being picked up from core mining at this very moment. But does that explain it? Possibly? This thing probably has a train limit of one. Let's bump it up a bit. Okay. I'm sure this would be more full by now if there was a problem. Alright. Good to have enough iridite to see some kind of bottleneck in the trains moving it around, I suppose. Uh, I think we might... No, we don't need another block like this yet. Although, I might consider redesigning these blocks that have ingots in the middle. 
uh, since the new Omni Smelter design can deal with those. Uh, it seems we're really struggling. Wait a sec. We have 27,000 copper here. Oh, it's because we've got 128k copper. Wait. So we've stopped smelting here because we reached our targets. Overflow chest. Which one are you? There you go. Um... That's kind of good, except why is it only copper and iron plate, I guess, that we've got as an input here? Oh, and sand. That's three. Yeah, okay. Well, this this actually tells me we've got more than enough smelting for now, which is good to know, to say the least. But the fact that we've reached this point and certain inputs are missing means we definitely need to step up iron, uh, yeah, I th well, it's weird, actually. Yeah, we probably need more iron, I guess, but actually, no, question mark. Why is there glass in here? Be gone. Actually, I kind of want to double check. I want to make absolutely sure when this gets back to uh, the depot that the system for unloading... Where's my speedy spider? Here we go. I want to make sure when we get back to the depot that the system for unloading those trains is working. Because I've seen a, a couple of trains like that. This, uh, this stream, and I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, how can we have multiple train stations with at or near seven train loads full of iron ore, and when I look at the Omni smelters, the new ones, they don't have any iron ore. Okay, this one just received some, but still. Where's our train? Maybe I should have kept better track of... Oh! Uh, that might explain a thing or two. Yeah, I think we need more... Um... I think we need more ways for the trains to get up there and avoid each other. It is a long way to go for these resources. That might be the problem. Okay. Is this it? This is it. Let's see if this unloads properly. And then I think we'll need to find a stream to raid for today. You're kidding me. Okay. That would explain it. Um, except I copied this from somewhere else. Um, so we're going to need to fix at least one more depot like this, I think. There should be the same problem on the other side. There is... Uh, let's just copy it like this. And we can avoid any mistakes. What other depots do we have here? This one? And this one? It's the same problem. How long have I been copying this? I guess I had a long period where not many trains needed to go back to the depots. Um, 
so we didn't notice uh, this error for a while. I think that's all of the new ones with that with that problem. Let's get our construction spiders to pay them all a visit. Oh, they're over here actually. Thank you for the follow, Waggers. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. That should sort that out. Fantastic. Let's give it a little save. And let's see who is streaming. Probably Factorio for today. Got a speed run. Uh, we've got some other languages. A lot of other languages right now, actually. Some very noisy spider legs. And I think we'll drop in on Gentle Mad Scientist for today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. Uh, and for now, let's, let's say hello to Gentle Mad Scientist. Take care, guys. Mm. Oh, this is a thruster suit. Just back. Can burn rocket fuel, nuclear fuel, or processed fuel? Tyrannosaurus hacks a rating with 76 people. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How are uh, how was your stream, Tyrannosaurus Hacks? How was your stream today? Welcome, Raiders. Man, that's the biggest raid I've have ever had in uh in my life. <laughs> that's a lot of Spider Trons. Oh, speaking about Spider Trons, I've I, I wanted to test.